It's be spoon right. up! <laughs> so no, I spoon it up! Um, There's um, always fucking problems in your home. It's um, not working! Well, it's because he comes from a, uh, a halfway house. Halfway it's house? Not <laughs> She is located what's, somewhere in the middle of um, the hills. What's the uh, what's the second link? You have, the That's the right one. The oh, right one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh no! I put, I, put, I, put it, I actually put an extra period in. Uh, in the it's working. Yay! Uh, oh, I can just edit it. I think. I think I can. Dreaming. What the fuck is with Tom's thing like? <laughs> I can see it. Wait. Are you watching the stream or something? Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I had to, like, fix the chat. Look at that funky music. I do. But I like Tom's gif. It's great. It's Thank perfect. You. It pretty much sim sums up his, like, all of his emotion every time he what? wants something. It, it, it sums up and... Tom's thoughts every time he speaks to Matt. Yo, Tom, that pic yeah. you put in the, the pic you put in the chat makes you look bald. <laughs> makes me look what? It makes you look bald. Oh, You'd rather I'll look bald than look like a second. sister. Come join the conversation. Wait. I still need to tweet this shit because fucking. Tweet. Do okay. I need to be? Do I now need to like be careful of how I speak to Tom, Matt? What do you mean? What do you mean? Well, because we're doing it live. I don't. I wouldn't want anyone to think I constantly pick on him. Oh yeah. Sorry, I wouldn't, wouldn't want to, anyone. Yeah. To, oh, sorry, what I meant to say is I wouldn't want anyone to know I constantly pick on him. Yeah, just just direct all your insults to me. That's what the people love. Uh, that's what they fucking shoot him for. Yeah. A number between I wonder how Matt's one and ten on today. Actually, wait. Two, it's gonna be five. freaking diarrhea you wanna see one or five. like a gigantic. You wanna see? Ball. You wanna see Matt get four, beat down four, by four, fucking? Four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Thank you. Matt has a tiny dick. Let's discuss that on the podcast. <laughs> it's not. It's normal. <laughs> Good choice. I haven't worn it's, Yeah, it's yet. normal for a six inch high man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this hat is really fuzzy. Like, it's a nice and soft. So, this is the pre show if you're watching. This is basically the extra content, I guess, that you get for watching us live, other than being able to watch early. So, now we're just going to talk about stuff. I don't know what, but we're going to talk. Knows what? Yeah, Bananas. Dude. Here's a topic I like to put out. Oh, you know, I did this at dinner the other day. I went out to TGI Fridays with some people. Well, we, well, I don't want to know about you being unable to keep it in your fucking pants. Freaking public restaurant. I ain't freaking fuck all of them. <laughs> well, let's be honest. With something that fucking small, I'm surprised if you could get fucked in the first place. You know what? I ain't freaking. Wasn't the topic. <laughs> What is the One minute into the show, and Matt's nearly crying. Yeah. Oh, anyway, that's a that's a record. Anyway, so question. So question. there's a talent show. Talent show going on at your local freaking whatever the hell hosts a talent show. You're approached and say, you, and they say you're on in five, and you can't refuse. Mm -hmm. What talent do you bring to the table? Talent do I bring to the table? I just whip yeah. my dick out. I can swallow loads of ping pong balls. <laughs> I just whip my. I just. <laughs> there's a lot. Wait, of, there's, wait, a lot wait, of, there's a lot of women from Thailand that can do the same thing, just not with their mouth. Wait, wait, Tom, elaborate. Like, so you go up onto the, you go up onto the stage and you just like freaking start swallowing ping pong balls. Yeah, that's what he does, man. That's I don't, his, I, his skill. I, I don't so understand what's confusing about it. <laughs> yeah. I walk up. I walk up to the stage. Okay. There's already a he desk throws a prepared. Fucking ping pong ball. Okay, each ping pong ball is ordered very like OCD like, and there's a row of them, and one after the other, it's. Thank you for that. Until Wait, all thirty eight of them are like the in my digestive system. On a dick. <laughs> you go across like a vacuum. Like. Um. Go up to the first one. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does it one by one. A vacuum would just like the fu fucking suck up like three at a time. Yeah. Tom's classy, man. Come on. Tom's classy. All right. Doesn't All right, take so multiple. Exactly. Here, here, here balls. first, kids. Take your balls one at a time. All right, now, Steven. What What's you got? That? What you got for the talent show? Talent? Um, 
The only thing uh, that talent? I... Uh... <laughs> well, exactly Define that talent. Uh, no, but uh, the what only is talent you speak of? I was gonna go to art, but I don't think they'd have like the equipment for like animating or something like that. Take out an easel. And so I'm gonna have to go with like when I was in high school, I would always like take a take my hat off and like twirl it. But instead of twirling it just like this, I would like transition it. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, transition it to each of my fingers and then go back. Like to the next, fuck you again to the next uh, Give a, finger. <laughs> Give me an S. <laughs> Give me a C. So, so you're just flipping off the crowd while spinning. Your <laughs> no, well, yeah, eventually, but I would I would go from this finger, and then transition it to this finger, then transition to this finger, then to this finger, then back, then this finger, then back, and then this. All right. Okay. Yeah. Impressive. I think that would entertain people without the crowd, crowd for the fact that they what me. Yeah. I can't do shit. <laughs> well, oh, you'd uh, you'd show them your tooth. Yeah, I, well, I take my tooth you... out, like I've done already. Or I, I just whip out my, I just whip out my cock, and then when they ask what talent that is, then I'll just you know very honestly and truthfully turn around and say this is the art of not giving a shit. <laughs> I, I thought, I'm pretty I thought good. I have no right, shape, right, and that is a talent. Like, <laughs> since, it's, since it's obviously so, like freakishly long. Or, you like take two ends and you'd have two hot babes hold the ends and you'll do jump rope. What's your talent, Mark? Did you well, say what do you do? Well, to um, be fair, I'm, I'm just one. I'm just wondering. What do you do? <laughs> I'm just wondering one thing. They take each one of them takes an end. Right, it like, doesn't come off. I'm not Mr. Potato Ed. No, no, no. Like we, it, we are like... still talking about cross dick. Are we? <laughs> we are. There we are. Wow. It's, it's an amazing topic. What and we're say? not even. It's a topic. It's gonna go on in. for a long time. Crow's detachable snake dick. Yeah. Yeah. Detachable. detachable no wanger. That's uh. That yeah. costs an extra fee though. The, the detachable yeah. feature. That cost. That cost the extra review. <laughs> yeah. It's DLC. I, can't, I, can't, I don't just do that. <laughs> DLC. <you> know. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking DLC. Dick, loud, dick loadable. Dick loadable content. Download the crow app. Dick There's an exclusive add-on. His cock. Oh yeah, I would pay for that. In all honesty, I'm, I'm <laughs> fucking scared now. Installing Kral's cock. <laughs> you know what? To be so fair, that is not the weirdest the thing I've done on this podcast. To be fair, that's not the weirdest thing I've ever heard, Matt. Yeah, he hasn't been on camera that much during the podcast, so unspeakable things may have happened that we are not aware of. So, oh uh, fuck. Burke the banana. <laughs> yeah, Burke banana. Burke banana. Burke. Oh, fucking. One. Uh, better known as Matt. Oh, Bert. Oh, yeah, earlier, oh, I don't Bert, know if you guys yeah, were paying attention, but I did this. A, uh, for, British like, a good bit. For cunt. And then I put it in my mouth, so, you know. Well, I would... Oh, you know what? If we were all on the camera... Yeah. We could do, like, one of those, like, who can pull the weirdest face competition. And I then, Matt. you know... <laughs> Matt wins. <laughs> Matt's fucking I, I'm, won I'm, anyway without yeah, even I'm having a fucking the camera. the same pick I uh, gave you guys... Yeah, I'm using the first one. Which is the one that's being used in the podcast. Yeah. I'm using the first oh, yeah. one. Oh, is the one with the uh, you know, child fat drawing? Head. No. No. Your, your, your one, fat sorry. face picture. Oh, the one. second one. Okay. Yeah. I would also like to point out, since it's still the picture technical that makes you look show, slimmer. Uh, I feel like this is good to tell is that. Yeah, I think in that pick I lost. Like... The, we aren't answering like, the Twitch chat right now while we're doing the podcast because the majority of this is going to be on YouTube. And it kind of be it would kind of disconnect from the video if we said that. So also, if anyone even freaking comments on it, we'll be like too astounded to talk. I'm not being yeah, yeah I'm like, not being funny. If someone fucking comments, <laughs> I'm gonna be stunned. I, I would probably me. like scream out and draw like ah, someone's talking to us. Oh my god, we got fans. Ooh. We're we're almost as famous as Justin Bieber. Wow, almost we're getting there. <laughs> you know, basically almost there. Practically. Approximately. Practically the Biebs. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm practically Justin Bieber of Brahalla. Oh really? Yeah. Steven, can you uh, can you give us a song style? You're the of Justin Brawlhalla Bieber, of the hot, uh, the heartbreak kid of Brahalla. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you want a what, what kind of song do you want? S sing a Brahalla Justin Bieber song. Go. Okay, so give me a song and then I will parody it. Like, give me a. Like, uh, the the trees are green. That's, That's not red a Justin Bieber song. Right? <laughs> you know, in honesty, I'm hearing you say words? this, and I can't help but think it's coming out of Matt's picture. <laughs> 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 it is. I mean, it, it works. 
Oh, it's good. It's oh, good. I got a tear from that one. That was beautiful, Tom. Fuck you. That's my second talent, oh, by the way, shit. except from Soul and Pin Bumbles. Oh. Much, well, much less, like, you can do than questions. your small lane talent, of course. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Not, which which not one would you practical. take to, uh, which one would you take to Broadway or, like, the, uh, Las Vegas? Your singing or your ping pong swallowing? I, maybe I could do both, you know what I mean? Oh, like, singing. I could do singing, but oh, may, I could maybe have some audience participation in it, where they could throw the some, time. whilst I am singing the actual song. Yeah, that would be pretty oh, cool. And then, and then for his grand finale, he gets one of the uh, the audience to come up and he swallows their balls. <laughs> yeah. Ping pong balls, of course, of course. What no, 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 the no, audience no, will no, have no, Tom no. swallow your nuts. <laughs> Get it's just academia week, nuts. Him, yeah, it has to be macadamia nuts because if we if we just let him swallow your ping pong balls, he will be tired out before the show. Yeah. We don't want that. So Yeah, we can't right. have that. We can't let him it swallow your balls, finish. but he'll swallow your nuts. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's a nuts on my balls. Blue balls of green. I'll swallow them too. <laughs> Some blue I'll balls. I'll deep throat your mum. For me, and your father too. And I think so. Not so Matt, you, ha you haven't given me a Justin Bieber song. How the fuck did I get to this? Is this a blow? Matt, give me a Justin Bieber song. I don't All think right. so. so. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give what me. the fuck's going on? Come yeah, up with your, a parody. For your thing. Uh, let's go with the classic baby. All right. Baby. Everyone knows that one. Everyone hates that one. So it's perfect. Yeah, we all fucking hate that one. Let's oh be God, fucking I, I actually think I, I got something formulated in my head. I actually did. I actually did a uh, parody. <laughs> he's gonna, baby he's gonna drop the uh, sickest mixtape of all time. School. Look at that stance. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> no. Uh, what is it? Drop it. Oh, hang drop on. It like, like I have to hot. channel this. Like, here we go. Oh, that's crap. Oh, yeah. No. Spit him. Hello. Main man in yellow. Like this. I, I can't wait to watch the watch it on YouTube right. so I can actually see what you guys ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I am. I don't know. I'm going to do my beautiful singing voice. All right, let's hear it. Actually, you know what? Because I don't know if this ep this, ser this series probably isn't going to continue, so I have to revitalize it. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched, me and Tom did a visual novel, uh, and there's a character <laughs> who has a lovely singing voice in that game. Oh, fuck. So uh, I'm going to... She he is going knows. to he step in knows. for me. So uh, God. Yeah. She is going to step in for you. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> she's, good, she's a bit quiet, so I have to get up to the mic. Oh, I'm ready. That's her voice? I thought I'd hit that hammer with Turk. Kill Kral. Yeah, you Kral. broke my weapon. Kill Kral? You've killed Kral. It's, it's, uh, I'm sorry, it's, a, it's a curse of mine. It's so good. Audio killed the video, so. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Audio killed the video. The weird video. thing was, it didn't fuck up my yeah. camera. Like, it didn't fuck it up fucks mine up. <laughs> I'm surprised your dad didn't fucking kick down the door and was oh, like, Oh, my, my dad's at work. Son. Who's dad? My dad's fucking at work. Justin Bieber. That was like Son. the only reason I can, like. Or, no, he wouldn't come. He would kick down the door and say, Why didn't you invite me? Like, that's what he would do. Yeah, he'd just start joining you with Yeah, exactly. He'd want to join the tone. podcast, and I was like... He knows the fucking dance moves, bro. He'd be like, God, no, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> you're embarrassing me. I'm trying to do an He knows the show. dance moves, fair enough, but Steven knows the lyrics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, you want to know the something? The dynamic duo. Do you want to know something funny about that? We were watching a stand-up like stand on Netflix the other day. That's funny. And, um... It's oh, Rodney Carrington, what? and if you don't know... <laughs> oh, Rodney Carrington comedy, is fucking brilliant. Stand-up comedy. But uh, Rodney Carrington, if you don't know who he is, he does, like, music. Like, he does, he like, com like, com like, I guess, song comedy. I don't know what else to call it. But Kate we watched that. There. And then I listened to Ninja Sex Party, and I was like, Dad, we should we shouldn't make one of these. Like, we should do this. It is amazing. Because my, my stepmom can sing really good. Um... And I guess I can occasionally spit a fresh verse. Uh, well, you can spit. What can I say? So can I. Well, yeah, exactly. You we, can't we spit can a fresh verse, but you can dribble like a professional. 
Yeah. Thank you. We all know freaking Tom can rap after that like, yeah. rap battle we had. Fucking right? roasted like, your ass in the bonfire. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was great. That was... Fucking... Your, wah, your, your wah, wah, wah. ship just got roasted like a motherfucker. It was even better than I even imagined. Hurts, but yeah, I was like, Dad, we should, over we that should make like comedy songs because he helped me with my rap battles I used to do. I was like, we should make oh, really? comedy songs. Like, you can play you the guitar. It. Bridget can sing. I can do things. The cheesy action band. I play games. Is not <laughs> That's an Masturbating doesn't count as a skill. I play the keyboard. I don't know. I could probably Does learn. Play with myself. Count as an instrument. Did someone just say I play with myself? I actually play a bass from time to time. Well done if you did. I'm not, I can I'm, actually play I'm not very good at it, but. Hold on. I have a. Uh... <laughs> no reaction. The skim <laughs> flute doesn't count. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. What yeah, you screw you, it's not a stringed, cool instrument. It doesn't count. I didn't hear what you said, Tom. So. Well, to be quite fair, though, Matt, I'm surprised you've been playing that fiddle for as long as you have about being caught. Yeah, the kitty fiddle. I don't even know what? where you got for that. I don't play the fiddle. You do play the fiddle, the kitty fiddle. Here's my scorecard for that joke crowd made about me playing with Oh, myself. I also play a little bit of the violin, actually. It's backwards. And guitar. It's backwards. What? This is the scorecard I gave for Kral's joke he made about me playing myself. 10.1. Yep. 10.1 10. 10. 10. 10. out of 10. You should be flattered. Kral be flattered. Out of 10, I scored 10.1. That's somehow above perfect. Singing 101. Speaking of 101s, you guys ever see that, like, stupid show with, like, uh, Britney Spears' sister? That was the shittest transition I've ever heard. You ever well, freaking, we're show? done with the topic, so I'm like, uh... Did what? you ever hear that thing that happened to I mean, you? Remember we're in the pre-show right now, we don't have topics, we're just spitball, dude. I don't even know if we have any topics at all. My friend, uh, my no. uh, brother... I have a list of things I've done and shit, but not really. Alright, we can do that, and while everyone else is, like... Talking about their stuff, I'll just come up. With, I'll find some topics or figure out some. What? Talk about Zoe 101 right now. That ain't a good enough topic. Excuse for you. me, princess. Talk, talking Go about on what, with 101? your very elaborate Zoe 101 conversation. Zoe so 101? Yeah. One? What is this? That's a Disney, old Disney Channel sh uh, show. Yeah. I used it, to watch it too. I'll... How like, about we don't talk about that? <laughs> How about you? That's a possible option. Oh, can I, can I just say, Give me can I just a say quickly? It doesn't involve freaking... Can I, shut the fuck up, Matt. Can I just say quickly for the person in the chat? Yeah, there's actually people talking in the chat. Uh -huh. Say oh. that I need dentures. I have one, so... Go fuck oh, yourself. Damn. People in the fucking chat? How many? What a... What a dick. Wait, did you put the toothpack in? Yeah. That, that just came out of nowhere for me. That was like a magic trick, dude. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fucking yeah. how are you doing? Wait, wait. Let me see if I can Professional, find that's us. Hey. Go into our own channel. I need to clean my face after I eat. Do I have cinnamon on my face? That's an oddly specific question. Do I, do I, do I have cinnamon on my face right now? Like. You might. No, you might need. Oh you might need to no, that's the it. thing. Uh, I have this like kind of skin thing like around my mouth that's kind of that's like really dried out i've been eating a lot of human skin recently so yeah, that's been, been uh sticking on my face flesh, a lot so you know <laughs> it's a living no nah, no nah, just kidding steve's not a member of matt's family it's fine uh, yeah <laughs> and also might be my um, terrible back to uh preteen uh, facial hair that i have it might all right I'm back and i, I got a glimpse of you guys it's oh god you left no, I, I I looked at the Twitch, and I turned down the volume. Oh, so you had to guys leave Skype. Hear yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> herpes? No, it's it's what? It's not. Wait, where did herpes come from? What are the, you talking cause about? Because like the, I have like <laughs> I have uh, kind of I have like acne and dry like, skin around you? my mouth, so it might look like herpes on oh, camera. Uh, it's the same yeah. for me, but it's it, it might be herpes. Instead. It's not herpes. Yeah. I swear, it's not herpes. Please don't say it's herpes. Please. That's oh. why Matt, that's why Matt's not showing his face. Someone said we seem like pretty cool dudes. Aww. Uh, that's well, they are sorely fucking mistaken. Like, who the <laughs> fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Calling us really cool dudes. 1v1. Yeah, 1v1 yeah, me. 1v1 me, bro. I got fourth place in two tournaments. What up, bitch? Oh, wow. You almost placed. Whoa. Shut up. Okay? You haven't placed <laughs> at all in a tournament. I reckon really Steven could beat your ass in Brawlhalla now, to be honest, Matt. I'd be I beat him. Yeah, but not now. 
Which, which now is the only thing that matters. I watched bits and pieces of him in the tournament yesterday because my Wi-Fi was being terrible and he was be like from the matches I saw he was beating some he was beating some else. Yeah. Oh really? You training? Some, yeah, man. You training in the mountains for a while? Yeah, I did. I uh, trained in the mountains with my controller. Like. <laughs> yeah, you just got like a really big screen, a really long controller, and sat on top of a mountain yeah. and played. Yeah, that, like, you know. Everyone mm. always uses that, like, training in the mountains as, like, oh, mm -hmm. that's, like, the pinnacle of training. I'm like, yeah. who's actually You've done just that? done it. F like, t two minutes ago, you're, 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 you're being a massive hypocrite. You've just literally no, just no, done I'm that, Mark. People do that. Not Everyone do that. says the thing that I've just said. Yeah, but it is intense How come? training. That's like, running like up the a mountain is said, really intense. I'm a really cool dude. Running anyway, up. so but... I get around with my words. Anyway. What so I was just wondering... Like, who even actually trains in the mountains? A lot of runners. Like, a lot of Just runners win. in, like, the, the west. No, the but, US. like, who, like, ditches their life and lives in the mountains? I'm a like, lot of people. But Bear grills? You weren't Hermits? talking about that. You were talking about <laughs> training. Like, exercising Bear in the mountains. Grills. No, no, I'm saying, like, <laughs> look, okay. Nice. Uh -huh. That's weird. Like, uh -huh. I know there has to be some people out there yeah. who, in order to freaking, I don't know, like, harness their chi or some shit... Yeah. They've gone they into the mountains and up. lived there. I'm just wondering, like, how how would that even be possible, though? Because like I've heard I've heard stories they about it. Okay, okay. I, uh, what are you asking right now? Are you asking how do people survive in the mountains? Yeah, like when it's a freaking cold mountain and there's like nothing up there. Well, survivalists mainly. People who know how to do that shit, I guess. What? I mean, like, how? Like, if someone like you did it, you'd probably die in the first fucking day, dude. Um, you get, like, savaged me. by timber wolves. I would eat those timber wolves. Mm. And save one and ride it back down the mountain. That's how I roll. Matt says as he sits by his keyboard. Okay. Doing New topic, then. If you guys were stranded on the top of Mount Everest with, I guess... I guess a, a good enough coat so you don't freeze to death. How do you get down? <laughs> top, you start. Sorry, what, what was the question? Mm -hmm. uh, You're I stuck was, on uh, the top of Mount Everest, and you have a very thick coat and pants and shoes and gloves. Yeah, I can do masks. that, can't I? How do you get off Thank the mountain you, without dying? And, uh, yeah, without dying. But you haven't listed, like, the dangers of the mountain. Like, I could literally just, say to you, I'll just go down the mountain, and that would be a sufficient answer. Freaking, it's a, it's a steep-ass mountain. Okay, um... <laughs> and there's freaking wolves and I've stuff. climbed down the mountain. Oh, really? You just climb? Schooled. I assume that you guys are in the chat are taking the piss out of us. Either way, uh, out of us. <laughs> what I was, was just saying? reminded that I have the ability to ban or kick people, which is completely okay. You know? Don't no, I'm really ban intrigued. our freaking I'm really intrigued. viewers, dude. Please, can this be a fucking topic? What did this say? This is uh, a fucking topic. You wanna now. Make it a I'm topic? making this you wanna make it a what thing? Say? Okay, so they went on to say we're cool dudes, right? Uh, and then they say yeah. I have herpes. Then they say, JK, you fags look like virgins. Uh, <laughs> then they told us to take a shower. Uh, then we said we're the definition of a failed abortion and cum buckets. Uh, Dude, they can I smell am. our autism from here. So guys, really nice guys, guys, turn the level, turn the autism down. They can smell it, okay? They can smell autism from where they are. Okay, turn it like down. Turn I'm, it I'm down. fucking turning it up, bro. And uh, we also drink our own piss as well. Well, yes. look, okay. We're also, that's, also that's, a, that's just a fact. About me, we're also queer. Are. You know, what they're running out of bullets, so they were, they resorted to queer. So you know, also, fucking gay queer faggots. Yeah, how dare? <laughs> Thanks yeah. for calling us free of the same thing. Yeah. How dare exactly. we? Okay. All right then. So like, so. I, I, I don't, uh, the bad thing is that. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for all your loving support. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for the generosity and the. Who's the British guy? Question: Who's the British uh, guy? We have two. two. No, who's Kral's, the Kral's, British guy? It'll be Kral because Kral is oh, way more British. British. No, that's, uh, yeah, Brown. Kral is a bit more British than Tom. Tom's got the accent, but oh, Tom! Now they're making fun of like... how you say three. What? Three? Yeah. Three. <laughs> three. I, I say three like a fucking human being. How else can I say three? <laughs> 
<laughs> it's is like it really free. In a... free? It does. It does legitimately sound like you're saying free. Free? Yeah. I just don't you, think you, that's oh, that... legitimate criticism, though. Yeah, that caused a problem. Oh for me shit! Yeah, that's ago, why I can so... do that. So Out of all the words that could have picked, free is the one that are apparently pronounced differently. Which is Wait, up, pretty much the same. Anyway. What are you talking What are Got you doing now? Got him, boys. Got him. Long time Got ago. Boys. I was going, like, I was going to a bunch of different yard sales, yeah. Like, because, I don't know, small neighborhood and didn't have much to do. <laughs> so, what I did was, like, I, I saw... Apparently, to the chat, you still don't have a question. Big, apart gigantic from fucking bear, and I loved it. Yeah, and I like collected bears back then because I was a freaking faggot. And mm -hmm. so and I course. saw this, and I'm like, I want that. And I go up mm -hmm. to, I got, went up to the uh, person running the uh, yard sale. I was like, how much does that bear cost? And he was like, free. I'm like, free? And he's like, yes, free. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, thank you. Well, and I damn. grabbed the bear and I ran away. And the guy was yelling at me, like chasing me down. I'm like, yeah, why are you chasing me? What? You I'm, got chased by a bear? No, what? I no, like oh. a petty bear. This story oh. is. Oh, I think I chased by a bear. Oh, you got chased by the guy that was selling it? I, th I think I spaced out when you said the word free, and then you said something about running away. Yeah, yeah I, I took the bear, bear, and like I was, you know, I started running home, because I was like, Mommy, I got a big bear! And he was like, no! No! And he ran after me, and I was so freaking scared. And I just dropped the bear, and kept running. And they and dragged him on his, like, by his feet to his fucking rape dungeon. Oh, God. I was never heard of him. Until what? Recently. Until I, I I bargained for his freedom and the, the only uh, Please. the only uh, like stipulant the only thing I got out of it was another team member. I was like, all right, <laughs> I will give you this bear, and you give me Matt for you two. No, he got the bear and well, no, but I give you this, yeah. this Deadpool poster, and then you give me Matt. You got a Deadpool poster right there. But right there. Right there? Right there. Awesome. There's his dick. Right there. Ooh. It's a pretty nice one. So, That's what I've heard. I have a friend who's like super obsessed with Deadpool. Like, I'm talking dresses. I've never really dresses been that much of a like fan Cap of him. Story. Like, I don't mind him, but I'm not like totally into him. Yeah, like, I feel like he's the, like the one character people dress up as only so they can get away with literally anything. I think the film's gonna be fucking sick when that comes out, but for the character, yeah. like, I, I, I could care less. Not many people like Ryan Reynolds, but I do. I don't know. I, f no, I think an X-Men... Or... I was gonna say in X-Men Origins, he was definitely the best part. Ryan Reynolds, I mean, not the actual Deadpool in the film, oh, yeah. which oh, yeah. wasn't even Deadpool. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that was stupid, like, how... Because, like, in the uh, X-Men Origins thing, they literally took him in the exact opposite direction as he should have been. Like, it's they actually it, sewed his mouth shut. It hurts my brain to know Will I Am was in that film. Will I Am? <laughs> that film? Who was he? Yeah, that was, that was a thing. I can't even it's remember, totally Matt. It's been that good. long. I can't even remember. Wow. He was... Uh, I remember him being outside a boxing ring, and then there was a really fucking obese dude in the boxing ring. Wasn't and he then... able to teleport? Uh, he might have been. I thought he was I don't know. to teleport, because I thought, like... That the way he died was like saber tooth. So I am he is like him. legitimately one of the worst artists working today, musically. Oh damn! Calling I'm that beef. I'm firing shots. I'm gonna start a diss track soon. I'm gonna yeah. stop getting my freestyle on. Yeah. Now we're gonna <sighs> now we're gonna have Will I Am coming into the Twitch chat and. I used, I used to like the blood. <laughs> you fucking <laughs> you virgin queer first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, that actually sounds fucker. like a great topic to talk about. Uh, oh, animosity in like gaming for no reason. So after we get on, after we get done with, uh, you know, I'd say we finish up the pre-show now and then just jump into talking about uh, what everyone's been up to. Yeah. So who Let's wants go. to go first? I can go first if no one else wants to. I've had a lot of I have a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah, I guess. I'll take that as a yes. Go first. Oh, no, no, I'm back. Someone okay, Matt me. wasn't even oh, here. Oh my. 
All right. Could you at least like notify well, when you go away well, for I a period of yeah. time? Did, someone called me and like it just automatically turned off my Skype. Especially during the podcast. Yeah, Please. I know. I, I don't like it. I don't know yeah, why you people fucking just text me. <laughs> yeah, you are the definition of cum bucket, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah. rudimentary <laughs> spunk bubble. Fucking spunk definition bottle? of cum bucket in the dictionary, Matt Perez. Spunk bubble, you fucktard. Spunk bubble. Okay. But, yeah. okay. Getting very hot, um, So, uh, I don't really have much it was, it was to say about games I've been playing, but I have been streaming a lot. Like, I guess I've been playing Brawlhalla and Dirty Bomb, but yeah. uh, Brawlhalla I have a lot to say about because I participated in a tournament last week that I didn't get to talk about in the last podcast. I got fourth oh. place, wow. um, very ironically, because I, I won the first match and... I went in the second round, and the guy who I went in against in the second round, just my luck, was the guy who won the entire tournament. So I was kicked out of the second round, right? The guy who was supposed to play in the bronze match, which is basically a match for third place, like who gets third or fourth, um, he rage quit because he didn't get like second or first. So he rage Aww. quit and left. So the, okay. the manager of the tournament was like, you can have a spot, and I was like, "You think you look good at this game?" And I was like, "Better than him." But uh, damn, take that. Uh, yeah, I went against uh, the third place guy, and I got fourth place in that tournament. So that was cool. And then, nice job. In the tournament this past Saturday or past Thursday, which was yesterday, actually. Oh my god. Um, wow. There was so another tournament, and there was a wow. lot more people, a lot better people. Like there was Magma Bob, Ons Hilt. Uh, Steven Ayer, my arch rival. Uh, uh, okay. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of good people in that, and um, I'd say this one, this way was a lot more legit than the. Oh uh, no, not really. The first round I wrecked. I wrecked the guy in the first round. He didn't stand a chance. Second round, uh, the guy I was going against was the same guy I went against in the second round of the first tournament. So I was like, uh -huh. oh god, I think I'm gonna lose, but I'll give him my best, right? He quit the tournament why he didn't say why he just like you know what i'm out of this take me out of it and i was like all right i mean i wanted to rematch i felt like i improved enough to beat him but he quit so i got past the second round into the third round and that was close uh that guy almost beat me but i beat him then i went to the semifinals and bas basically i got wrecked in the semifinals and then the bronze match i got wrecked and i got fourth place again so that's neat all right uh but yeah Nice job. Nice. Thank you. That's just what you've been doing as of late? Nice. Uh, nice. Oh, no. I did the uh, oh. Smash Brothers collaboration. I um, did that. It happened. It happened, but you didn't get to join. Yeah. Oh, why, why didn't Mike get to join? Because the why other guy Mike who come? didn't say if he was, like, gonna, like, or didn't respond for until the day that we recorded it, uh, just out of nowhere said, yeah, I'm here. So the guy, instead of giving that guy the, or instead of giving Matt the spot, when Matt was like, on the spot ready to go, yeah. to help us, he gave that guy who was made no effort to keep in contact with the manager of the collaboration. Yeah, but it's whatevs. Yeah, I mean, really, the only problem I had with it was I had to freaking download all this crap mm -hmm. from like all these websites. Gotta get like emulator. Gotta get the ROM. Gotta set yeah. your controller. Or That's keyboard. what's fucked up my computer, actually, because every time I open the internet now, I'm just littered with ads, and there's no way to stop it because I cleaned it up uh, recently when, like, I rebooted my computer and all that, and then it just slowly came back, and I did nothing to provoke it, so it's literally there forever now. There's nothing I can do about it. It's like one of the worst decisions I've ever made in my life. I don't know what I did to do it, but it's there. Do it's, you uh, do you got adblocks? Do I what? Yeah, adblock. Yeah. Ad what? Adblock, it's an extension for your browser. I can't download what? it anymore. There's something not letting us download it. Like, oh, there's wow. literally things that don't, like, I'm not able to comment on YouTube sometimes. I'm not able to check my notifications sometimes on YouTube. Like, mm -hmm. really weird things like that, like, I'm not allowed to do. And installing things like Adblock, I can't do that either. That's really weird. strange. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's all the pirating I did back in the day. <laughs> Like it's Ooh, came back to want to talk about that on camera, Tom. Well, I'll talk about it on camera. I've actually Legal. been pretty good on, on that. camera. The only thing I pirated recently was uh, it was like this weird animation 
program for my mm -hmm. phone because the free version had like a feature that is crucial to animation. Or no, the free the free version didn't have it, but the the premium version did. So I got it on my phone. What was the uh, feature? It was like so you can see uh, the frame like a like a, a shadow of the frame of animation after the one you're on. You could only see before because when you animate. Uh. You do this, this spot, and this spot, and then after doing that a couple times, you go in between and do that, and that's how you like smooth it out pretty much. Huh. But uh, yeah, the uh, Smash collaboration uh, was m probably the most unorganized coordination uh, collaboration that I have ever done. Yeah, it seemed um, really weird. In, that, yeah, it, that was until he did the Terraria today. So, uh, yeah, we, were, we, well. were, we were recorded we started recording pretty fast in comparison to our usual recordings and that one we were I was I, was, I started recording like when we started the call for that collaboration because I, I thought that they had started as well because they were talking like they started so I started they didn't then 20 minutes in after I started recording we started huh. so yeah wow. uh, so, I will say I won't nice give guys. any spoilers about that video because I want you all to go enjoy it uh, when it comes out, I will tweet it out and maybe make some kind of YouTube announcement. Um, but I will say that he said that he's going to take my footage and use the bits that weren't like us playing the game as like an intro kind of thing. And I, I, I have to toot my own horn here because I was only funny in that part. But in oh. the playing, I'm like really <clears throat> quiet. And like every now and again, I just hear, fuck, shit, ah. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> yeah, damn it! Damn. I'd just like to point out that I've just successfully blocked everyone who was a bastard. Aww. They've all gone. Out. I don't care. They've all gone. There goes uh, all. Like I oh, they were giving us the views. Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, That's what he messaged me too. Left? Was like, "Good job, you faggot! You lost your only three viewers." And I'm like, "Cause I want you to watch my stuff." I mean. Yes. We need the viewers. Yeah, we we because we don't enjoy this at all. We just do it for the views. Freaking, we I don't need care. money. We watch, yeah. watch it, then people will be like, "Oh, people are watching that. Let's watch that too." And then you freaking chain reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking unblock them now, so we can get that Twitch money. Get in on yeah, that Twitch money. Yeah. That, yeah. that mad you Twitch money. You unblock them, I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> well, I mean, just like, don't look at the comments. I ban I've already banned them. From Just block the out the haters. And I close my I close my browser too. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm, I'm not yeah. being funny. Like you sit there saying, uh, oh, you know, just ignore them, Matt. But look at I'm not being funny. Why should we just ignore them and let them continue it when other know. YouTubers and Twitch streamers wouldn't? I mean, you wouldn't. You because well, they've you got wouldn't. they've got plenty of people to fill them in. Well, no, it doesn't matter really. Because, yeah. like you said, oh, people will see them in here, and then they'll come along, yeah. And then they see what they're doing, and then they join in. So, yeah. is that the kind of Twitch experience you're promoting? No. It's the only Twitch no. experience. If people I act like that in my chat, they're out. Like, I don't care. It's not. Right. I don't exactly know people who do that. I sort of provoke it in a way. Yeah, you do. Like, we did. Yes. We did at first, yeah. Yes. yes. Let your anger flow through. Give me more. <laughs> But uh, I guess other than that, uh, the collaboration we were supposed to do the today actually was rescheduled. Uh, yeah, I was super bummed about that too. We were yeah, supposed to play I won't go into specifics, ball. but yeah, we were gonna play Dirty Bomb, and I think we had a good chance of winning. Oh, I wasn't too yeah. bothered. Uh, <laughs> but then again, I was Matt's, the one who least did the least fucking. Practice Matt's really go least. gotten pretty good at the game, and uh, me I... and Matt played uh, my some competitive, and I played my first competitive match. We won. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, I find it too, uh, like, CSGO for me, in order for me to, like, practice it and enjoy it at the same time. I mean, it's like, more like Team Fortress too. I would say. In the way it's presented, yeah, but I'm talking about, like, um, well, Team Fortress 2 would sort of fit in the same category for me, because, like, it's sort of competitive first-person shooter games that is exactly the worst game that I'm, that I'm at, but I want to do this well, anyway, to, just to yeah. fucking, I don't know, have fun and do the The thing do, is, do is that thing. when we play, Tom, it's not like, it's not like we go in and we're like, or if Matt fucks up, I'm like, Matt, you stupid son of a bitch, um, you were so me. much better oh. than that, you should do, yeah, that's Crow. Um, no, it's, it's I we abuse just enjoy matter. ourselves, it's like, it's a having fun, but... As we're playing, we're getting better at it. 
Like, I suppose so, but it's just like not my type of game. I Obviously suppose. A cup of tea, not a cup of British tea. Well, that was extremely fucking disrespectful. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Like we were just having a civil conversation, then you just come up with that stereotypical bullshit. <laughs> Well, I said cup of tea, but then I'm like, oh, maybe I could tell this. No, 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 fuck you, Matt. Yeah. Everyone, oh, right, Kral, Stephen, unblock the chat, send them on, Matt. <laughs> well, let them in. Get them on, Matt. Well, uh, let them just let them fucking leave. Say, hey, guys, attack Hang the on. fucking you Java Hut chat. profile picture. I, uh, yeah, I, ban I banned them from chat, is what I did. Oh, no, 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 yeah, he banned people from chat. He hasn't blocked chat. I haven't blocked yeah. them from my, like, messaging me and whatnot. Thing it's it's if you guys ever tried to check your inbox on Twitch, it's really awkward. I actually I I just did I, it a minute ago. I haven't. Why? Well, no one would send me a message. I'm even fucking streamed. <laughs> what is it just awkward? To... I won like a I won like a contest. I check my I check my uh I always check my inbox because they it's full of nice messages from people like Chippy Gaming <laughs> and Ulv twenty one. Well, makes me feel better about myself because if I don't, no, 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 it just makes me feel better about myself because if okay. I don't, then I will genuinely fucking have a go at edge yeah. everyone, and Matt will end up crying. Oh, <laughs> not again! Sorry, Matt. It's not like I've got a choice in the matter. It's just that I will make you cry. You, you don't have a choice. It's no, just your... neither do you. It's your purpose. Like Wolverine you having, cry. like Wolverine having his X Men powers. You don't have a choice in whether or not I make you cry. Or it's like the uh, Superman v Batman Dawn of Justice trailer. Do you cry? <laughs> will. Will. And you just see Superman like in the corner and like feel. Good you will, I am. He didn't cry though. <laughs> That's the thing. He cried in Man of Steel, so. You will cry like you would listen to Justin Bieber shit. <laughs> or at least Steven's rendition. Yeah, it's 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 a gift. A gift. It's a yeah, from fucking That's Satan. Nothing. It's a gift from our Dark Lord Minnie Mouse. Oh, uh, yeah. She I opened her get castle. that because it hasn't gone up yet, but... Watch Terraria to she see what I'm talking castle. about. <laughs> Actually, this won't go on YouTube until after those Terraria episodes are probably up. Oh, so they will get it. Probably. They have to watch it. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. At least soon after. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now that we're well, done, I, I guess I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the old Dusty Road. Yeah, exactly what I thought of. Dusty Road. Yeah. Uh, God damn, it's so bad when there's no silences during the fucking podcast. I feel it so yeah, bad. I I don't really have much else to say. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I got denied. Then. Actually, no, I do have something to say. I need to apologize. Um, Fucking people, not done. I did a Brawlhalla charity challenge in which I said I would donate a dollar every time I lost, um, and I lost like 10, 11, maybe 12 times, I don't remember, it was at least $10, and I was going to pay it from my first paycheck I got from a job that the interviewer made it seem like it was guaranteed my job, but I call, like after hearing, not hearing from them for like two weeks, I called them, and... He said, no, no, we hired someone else. Mm, that so now I I can't do it. I can't I can't donate that much money. So I apologize, everyone who, if you end up watching this, uh, everyone who came out and kicked my ass on that stream. But, uh, yeah. That's bullshit, dude. Well, I, mean, yeah, maybe... I feel kind of, I feel real bad. I'm not going to lie. I feel you real bad about it. You fucking liar. <laughs> How could you? No, I got the coming. same thing happening to me though. I, like, I, it, yeah, I've uh, had shit like that to me before. It's bollocks. Yeah, I mean, I well, guess we, we went with someone who has more experience. You have got more experience. Fuck off if they got more experience. You fucking toss pot. How am I supposed I'm to get experience? Where you don't let me have a job. That's that, true. No, 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 true. Matt, you did that. in, in, in with what you just said. You made a valid point. Yeah. How the fuck are you supposed to gain experience if people won't actually fucking hire you for the job? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, we went, we went with someone who's actually done it before for like three weeks. I thought I had yeah, a good I mean, like application it, because it asked me how, why do I want to work here, and I was like, well, I'd like to work in a place that has something that I am knowledgeable about or have some skill with, like movies and games. Which is uh, there was a movie and game rental place, and I was like, I know that shit. Yeah. I don't like that. Sh I, don't I know like my shit. Side of my hand. Look at that. Where the score to come from? He knows from. that. 
Yeah, I know this. I know this. Yeah, I was expecting know, it like... to be one of those, um, you know, I know the shit at the back of my hand. Ooh, where did that scar come from? Fuck. <laughs> well, <laughs> damn. Well, I guess I don't. Um, Sorry, uh, I'll, I'll let myself out. Yeah, you know, I really hate how, like, job applications go because they're always, like, looking for, like, the perfect person. Like, they're, they're looking for someone, I've heard this said before, and it's so true. They're looking for someone with the experience of a 40-year-old, the wisdom of a 30-year-old, <laughs> and the payroll of a 20-year-old. In order to be applicable to this job, you need to have defeated Medusa, the goddess <laughs> of whatever the Well, no, fuck. you see, you see, Matt Ford, England, England, the sword it's a of in England, you must be able to you accept have to have the experience. in the form of single grains of rice. <laughs> in England, it's you have to have the experience of someone who's about to retire. Have at least the five wisdom, gold medals. The wisdom medals, of the manager. You've got to be able to do a manager's job as well. Uh-huh. You had to get five and then, it, and then you've got to be able to accept the pay of a Polish person. A Polish person, mate. In po right when the I'm not being I'm not being nasty that any immigrants are coming to England, but they get shafted with pay. Yeah, Copy it's kind of like us in Mexico. You're in Mexico? No, no, us like U.S. and Mexicans. They come in and they don't get paid well. They, some of them come so you, in instead though, of saying U.S., you come say come us. Illegally though, so. Are you one of those people that gets what? a DVD player? Goes, oh, look, a different player. No. It's different. No, no I just meant like us as in like, I don't know, like us, not you. You know what, whatever, I meant the U.S. Just take it did. like that. Of course you did. Makes more sense. It's weird, like your first and second name is a combination of America and Mexican. Like, Matt Perez. you're not... Like anything with a Z in it sounds yeah, exotic. Not. Sounds a good, exo too, exotic enough to be foreign. Yeah, I'm not even like close to being Mexican either. Like I'm not at all Hispanic. What's Steven? What Steven? Oh. I'm copying your gift. It's just one. Oh finger. right, of course. Of course. <laughs> the one I was looking for. The one I was looking for was a. Uh, I'm sure I've used this on the podcast before, but I can't remember which one. It was like the one of the WWE, WWE referee. Like sticking his thumb yes. up, but his thumb yeah, ends like... up going behind his back and <laughs> oh, like twisting yeah. around his head or some you shit. It's so horrible. Last podcast we did with a video, I believe. Yeah. And then I that used the bees one, the Oprah bees one, I for uh, someone. One. I like that. And you get bees, and you get bees. Everyone gets bees. So is Release anyone else? Release the bees. At all. Yeah. Next. Productive. Dude, I like next. That. Does no one else want to speak? Cause I've Next, talk about doing things. I've got some stuff to say. All right, wait, Lay on us, brother. All right. Brother. Uh, as for things I've been doing recently, uh, I've watched a pretty fucking sick anime, to be fair. Oh, damn. Which one? So again, back in my anime. It's called Space Dandy. Oh, and it's, I've heard of that. It's given me a run for best anime I've ever seen. It's fucking hilarious. It's like a cross between... I don't know. Well, it's 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 sort of like Cowboy Bebop, but it's way more self-aware. Like um, uh -huh. it breaks a fourth wall all the time. Um, it's 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 just so hilarious. Like it parodies fan service, like in anime. Like you know how they just fucking like throw boobs and shit. Yeah. Okay. Like, like in this okay. anime, they've literally got a bar, boobies. which they go to in like every episode called boobies, and it's just full of fucking like waitresses, like. Just whoring themselves out, kind but like they know boobs. what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing with it. The yeah. soundtrack's awesome, and the animation's really sick. It's just so good. Uh, so watch Space Dandy if you get a chance, dude. Like it's, it's funny really that you say that because that was my world. exact reaction to Kill La Kill. It is so ridiculous that it, yeah. it, it knows how ridiculous is, it is. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah, I don't need to say yeah. that. I hate how some people don't Netflix. even realize it's like so Kill La Kill is just good. It is fucking brilliant. I've been. I, I, what do you call it? I was looking, I was looking for a gif for to send to my friend, because he wanted a, an anime gif for something. I don't know what. I didn't ask. And I was looking through, and I found one, and it it came up with like say it's not the main character from Kill la Kill. It's her friend, and it's her yeah. doing one of her fucking, you know, one of her yeah. monologues. Yeah. Very good. And she's doing that. Spotlight. 
Yeah, and she keeps doing that, and it just keeps going up. It's all about the side, the underboob, and I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. So I watched it, and oh, good god, man, it's fucking hilarious. It's great. Yeah, yeah, I love that some show. Of the, some of the shit they come out with on that. Like, yeah, oh, what's it? You, it. I was like, you won't get the so same cool. power as her until you wear me. It's like, um, no, until I, you're naked. I'm have like, you what? seen pictures of the main character's armor of Kill la Kill? Oh, hey. uh, I have not. I don't think so. <laughs> well, it is very revealing. Like Revealing in the word. Yeah, there's there's not an English word that can describe how much is shown on that woman. But I love how they basically um, counteract all the. They knew that people were gonna say something about it, so I love how they counteract that. They were like, "Oh, it's about accepting yourself and accepting your body and being being okay with yourself." I was like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah. That's bullshit. Well, the freaking but anime yeah. was a freaking. <laughs> shouldn't be naked like that in this public. But yeah. BS right there, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. No, it's, it's fucking brilliant, mm -hmm. and I haven't I finished. It. I haven't finished it yet. Uh, I'm looking forward to the ending. The story there, actually is interesting. There, too. The ending to that. I'm not going to tell you the ending, but there's an ending line that her best Never. friend says at the end of the, the last episode. Oh, wow, perfect. Did not so see it coming. I was like, I will fucking "Whoa, out. are they just going to glance over that?" And then, yeah, they are. <laughs> she just said that. Yeah, it's good. It's great. I haven't. Uh, I haven't watched many new animes recently. I I do want to start getting on the. Dragon Ball Super Train. Oh, oh. so good, <laughs> so good. I watched the oh. first episode. It's so good. It's Did so you? Good. Yeah, I I heard it's like mainly focusing around fighting now and less. Like uh, a... not the first episode. Not the first not episode. The first. It is funny as shit. It might be it, well, thinking of the. Uh, it's the uh, first episode of the though. It's supposed shit. to like reintroduce the characters. Like, hey, these guys are still here and they're still the characters you love, right? Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. gotta be a little ridiculous. There's not yeah. gonna be like, my God, uh, Freezy Poop's third cousin is here, and he's about to exact revenge. Oh no, he yeah. turned metal. Oh Freaky. no, he turned into toilet poop. paper. Who are we talking about? His fucking mum? Freezy Poop. <laughs> Freezy Poop, yeah. come here, please. No, but if I would have to recommend an anime, and everyone else is gonna probably, everyone who watches a lot of anime is probably gonna shit on me for this, but I loved every bit of it. So fuck yourself. I like Sword it. Sword Online. Sword on Online. Yes, I love it. Oh, yeah. I thought, I thought you were going to say that. And mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, I watched a few episodes the other day. Uh, I think about halfway through, actually. I don't know. I'm pretty indifferent about it, to be honest. I don't I don't love it or hate it. It's just sort of a thing. I do. All it, all it, all it makes us want to do, to be honest, is like play a game instead of watching it. Yeah, it made me want to play like an MMO for some reason. No, for me, yeah. my, my personal favorite, and it's still... I haven't finished watching it because... Not all the episodes have been done yet, but is it wrong to pick up uh, Girls in the Dungeon? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. That is also fucking Also, another weird. one of the crazy, insane fan service animes. We want to talk about crazy well, fan service animes. See, you say that, like, oh, yeah, it's just crazy fan service. No, no, it's I'm not just act... saying that's it. It's got a great story, too. But, no, to be fair, though, the only crazy fan service that they, they put in is the main goddess. That's it. Well, I mean, later in the I'm... anime, it gets a little like, oh, what? Well, no, no, it, it goes down the main storyline of, you know, he just starts getting a load of girls after him. Yeah. So that's that's not really, I mean, you, you know... Though? Well, no, because it hasn't all been finished being oh, processed. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, the first season. The, the, the yeah. show. Yeah. Oh, Okay. I just, I just I thought, kind of like spaced out for a bit there while you guys were talking, so, and then I come so, back so and then it's just quiet, and I'm like, what yeah. happened? What I, was happened? A little, I was a little confused, like... I was about ready to kill him. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on there. You want weird anime that is definitely, eh, it's not really fan service but is only, like, if you're into this kind of thing, there's no payoff whatsoever. Uh, so it's fan There's no way my sister can be this cute. That is a weird anime. Sound oh my god, is that the... Hang on. Is that the one where his sister's like a fucking... She's an otaku? Yes. She is. And he is in no way, shape, or form is he an otaku. No. And to cover up for her, he keeps mm -hmm. putting himself in these positions where mm -hmm. he has to be one. He gets punched by his dad. What? He gets punched by his dad. Punched isn't because a fucking word, man. His yeah, sister... Not, I don't think you guys are going to watch this, so I'm just going to tell you. His sister has games, like dating sim and visual novel things, that are basically... Because she is an otaku. She's that a, are games that... Fun 
are about older sisters having feelings for the younger sisters or older brothers having younger feelings for the younger brothers. Like, that's oh. the game she plays, and her brother finds those things, and he covers up for her, saying that it's his or something like that. And his dad punches oh. him in the face. I, the worst part it's the, about that it's was the like, way it's the way he covers for it. It's like he proper goes all out with it. Yeah, and he's like, the I dad, love this it's shit. It's just incomplete. It's just complete silence. And then the dad just goes, just yeah. fucking winds up, him. bam, right in his face. Yo, I'm totally watching that. That sounds funny. <laughs> of course, and you are. Fucking chaos. Well, his sister's like, I'm sorry. I just apologize. I'm downloading it right now. Oh, yeah, uh, of course he, you are. The best part yeah. about it was the fact that the entire ep the entire show, he knows what these games are about. Like he knows she's into that kind of thing, like that she's playing oh, oh, that. Oh, and he's oh, like, when... he's like, oh yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, this is my thing. No, or you've got, or you've got when uh, her friend finds out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's the only one who understands why it's so weird, and she looks at the brother like, are you, are you like that too? And like I don't. Well, no, no. See, this is the thing, only he, sensible one. Again, again, because she can't accept it, and she tells her, "I can't accept this," blah blah blah. And then so she, uh, he turns around and says, "Oh, it, okay, yeah, you you call us. It's me. I make her do these things." And, and again, he gets punched for it. It's just so weird because no one acknowledges the like that she has fact, those yeah. games. And yeah, nobody. Her nobody touches on the, the fact one. Yeah, no her. one actually makes any comment towards the fact that the games she's playing have these massive fucking segments of like, you know, it's a sister and her brother. Yeah, or sister and yeah. sister as well. Yeah. It's, it's, they even have a PSP in that too. I like that. They had a PSP in that game. It was great. It was like a PSP I'm though, I think. To, there, was a, there was an anime I watched quite a while ago now, and it has... Uh, oh, what was it? I can't remember. I cannot remember off the top of my head what the anime is called. But in the anime, they have a lot of. They go to. It's like a club. Uh huh. Basically. And there's one episode where they're all sat down playing on PSPs. Mm -hmm. And they're playing Monster Hunter. Oh. And yeah. well you can done. tell it's Monster It's clearly Monster Hunter. And the enemy they're hunting is the Great Jaggy. And there's one bit where the, the girl's like, I'm going to sneak up on it, and I'm going to do this and whatever. And as she's sneaking up the other one, who is a, a, a bow, she uses bows, fucking yeah. shoots her in the back of the head with a, a sleeping arrow. Uh -huh. <laughs> Knocks her out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sat there like, ah! <laughs> but it's just so fucking funny, because they're all like, they're in this club to make friends, and, you know, to learn how to make friends, when the, the reality is they're all friends. So, like, yeah. the kind of, the <sighs> irony behind it is they joined the club to w learn how to make friends when the irony they is they're not. They joined the club to make friends, and now they're friends, so now they have friends. It's cute. It yeah, but it also, Sorry, it, wait, also wait. Evolved, it also evolves a hell of a lot around the two main females trying to get in the pants of the main male. Of if you lot, Isn't that if you lot the freaking thing? If you lot are deep in conversation about I me, mean, I'm allowed to go to the toilet real quick because I'm fucking, I'm so, oh, Go I'm ahead. Yeah. No. Wait, Don't you fuck that Go for it. Uh, now is where we run out of anime. Uh, no, but I well, actually... When we run out of anime, uh, I, uh, I watched um, on YouTube the Jet... Like, actually, I think it was like Portuguese, the language was. The Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F. Goku. I, fought, I watched the Goku vs. Frieza part on YouTube, and I watched the Vegeta vs. Frieza part on YouTube. And uh, my god. Polar opposites, by the way, of two fights. Goku, yeah, all right, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, Goku doesn't get spoiler. his ass beat, but he doesn't win either. Like, it's pretty much an even fight, and then they're both really so tired. Words, it's, it's just like any other fucking Dragon Ball Z. Well, most Dragon Ball Z, it starts out, Goku let's, let's gets fight. his ass now kicked. I'm tired. Goku okay, gets his let's, ass let's kicked. Treat. And then he gets some kind of new transformation, or some other person comes out and is like, "I'm actually." There is no way you can Goku. get power. This is no way you can get more powerful than me. Oh yeah, Super Saiyan 600. Fuck. Yeah, exactly. How did you learn that? It's a super. It's I a Saiyan technique. I counted upwards. Um, but yeah, then Vegeta comes in upwards. after uh, Frieza is like so tired <laughs> and count. just kicks his ass. So that was fine. The blue I'm hair is actually a lot cooler. Like the animation in that is. Balling. I love it. I'm not, so I'm, much. I'm not a huge, you know, to piss off a bunch of people. I'm not a huge fan of uh, Dragon Ball Z. 
Never have been, never will. It's just never appealed to me on that level, so... We are God dang it, people so call me. God dang people. it. I well, not like right, Sword Art Online. Also, we've I also don't like Dragon Ball Z. <sighs> Pissing I off just, so many animes. I, just, I do not like Dragon Ball Z. I just don't. And I, don't I like love it. Sword Art Online. I, I Sword think Art that's hold okay. Hands, Let's hold hands in our stance. Well, no, wait, it's like Sword Art Online is okay? That's about it. <laughs> Yeah, like, that's the way I feel about it. I've returned, by the way. It's not like, oh, like the second, like, like the second season. Awesome. Mm, it's like, like the second season, like when it's all of a sudden they go into another game. I'm sat there thinking, how the fuck did you manage that one? Yeah, that second season wasn't nearly as good. I mean, I, I, it, it, it. it made me. It it, totally I was sat there stuff. thinking, really? Yeah. How did you manage that? I didn't enjoy it. But like, there was nothing that made us like. Want to like make it one of my favorite anime ever, but I didn't enjoy it. Like it's a good anime no, no, for I'm what not it is. Say I didn't enjoy it. Yeah, like you said, it is a good anime. for what it is, for what it does. It's good. Yeah. It's just not something that I would sit down and spend a whole lot of time, a whole lot of time watching because it's just. Can I it's just can I say it. something that has probably been said before, but no matter how many times it's said, is the internet will never learn this. Is that. Go Whenever fuck yourself, people crap. say things like "I like this" or "I don't like this," just remember, everyone watching, it's not saying that it's bad or it's better. It's just saying that they like it. Like, yep. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm pretty sure that's implied. <laughs> I and thought the people... that was common knowledge, but like I've said before that, like about a movie or something like that. Like, uh, what was it? Oh, okay. Here's a good example. And this was actually back when me and Tom were young lads, so we you can forgive us for this. We got in a heated debate over two movies. I really like Ghost Rider. Not many people do. Yeah. I liked it. Tom didn't. And we got in a heated debate over it. Ridiculous. Shouldn't have happened. But, you know, we did. And then Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 2 came out. And I was like, oh, I didn't really like it. Tom liked it. And, you know, we yeah. did that too. So, remember people, if someone likes something, it doesn't mean they're saying that whatever be you're fair, comparing is better. Or I think I was a little along. bit... And so I think no one likes Spider Man, and now no one likes it. I think, <laughs> I think I was a little bit blindsided when I went to see Amazing Spider Man because I went to see it at the pictures as well. And normally, when I go like, like when I make a trip of it and I actually see it on the big screen, like it has more of an effect on us in a way. To be to be fair, like I like the movie yeah, more than I would like it lying in my bed watching it or whatever. Um, I won't. I don't. Is, I like Spider Man. I like Spider Man too. I like Spider. I even like Spider Man Three. Everyone hates Spider Man Three. I think it's like maybe one of the best ones. It's so cheesy and fucking like, it's I, so I cheesy and hilarious. I think I think everyone just calls it one of the worst films because it, the the do Venom and Injustice, but that shouldn't yeah, be why. That was like, my that, main grievance with it. Yeah, he's but like my that, favorite villain. All that makes it really is a bad, uh, like a bad transition from comic book to film. That's all it makes. It, it doesn't really make it a bad film. Uh, so I like all those three films. Amazing Spider-Man comes out around about the same time as Dark Knight Rises. Mm -hmm. So that got shot on pretty well. It, it it got some favorable reviews and stuff, but like not not as many people liked it as much. I enjoyed it. I don't think it was that bad. I still like the originals better, honestly, but. Amazing Spider-Man 2 came out, and uh, it is one of the most cliched superhero movies. I will, I will, I will agree. Um, I, I, I don't think it's that bad though. I'd, I'd still be able to watch it and sort of enjoy it. Maybe it's just because I love the superhero that much, but I, I would still watch it. Like if someone put it on DVD or something, I'd be like, yeah, I'll watch this. Um, it's, it's, it's the worst Spider-Man movie by far, by far though. Am I it's the just, only one that thinks that? I think that uh, God, who's the who's the dude that played Peter Parker in the first trilogy? Tobey Maguire. Tobey Maguire. Yeah. I think I liked his Peter Parker matter than his like Spider Man, but I liked uh, Andrew Garfield's Spider Man better than his Peter Parker because I feel like Peter Parker is more like a kind of like nerdy, shy kind of kid whenever he's Peter yeah. Parker, but whenever he's Spider Man, he's like his goofy, sarcastic asshole self. You know? Yeah. Like, yeah, that makes sense. The the Peter Parker and the Amazing Spider-Man movies is like freaking coolest Awkward. kid in town. No, oh, yeah, that too. Skateboarding, gelled up hair, ladies Skate, loving. Yeah. Skates. He'd he'd, like, be, he'd be popular in my school just for that. 
Yeah, like he wouldn't even have to be skating. Like he he's got the looks to go with it. I mean, I'm not gay, but he's a beautiful man. <laughs> I can admit it. He's a beautiful man. I'm not homosexual. Oh, what is that? I'm not gay, but he's a beautiful man. I'm not That's going as my fucking Skype call. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gay, but that man could get in my pants. Just kidding. I'm not gay, but I'm not gay, but I would probably suck ten dicks. Whoa! Exactly ten dicks. Who wouldn't? I mean. No. Yeah, it's like you know. There's you know, a new, there's a new, uh, there's a new sky name for the fucking. Not gay, but I suck yeah. about twenty dicks. You just said ten. Now you've up to the twenty. <laughs> yeah. wow. I'm not wow. gay, but I suck get hungry. Fifty dicks. <laughs> Doing what I do makes you a hungry man. <laughs> when I get hungry, get I don't just suck a dick. <laughs> I go all out. I go all out in sucking dick. But I'm doing my podcast. I prefer I... whole meat, natural. <laughs> oh dicks. God! I, I prefer white meat. I would have lost meat. count by now if there wasn't a tally on the wall. Didn't we have a, like oh. half a podcast uh, to like therapy session as to why Matt like was sucking dick or wanted to? Suck oh dick? yeah, no, no, it was, it was oh, about yeah. him like that, thinking about dicks or something. All oh, yeah. right. That was so funny. And how does that make you feel? <laughs> Oh, oh, that bitch, I'm gonna take you down. Makes me wanna suck some cock. That's one of my favorite cheese cuts Yeah, that's my favorite part of that Crazy bitch, I'm gonna take you down. Yes. Love it. They're so out of nowhere. So, apart from watching Space Dandy, and that sparks like a half an hour anime conversation, apparently, um... I bought a collection of PS2 games recently as well, and I'm gonna list them off, and you guys have to, like... You know, you you guys have to raise the hype for whichever game, like. Basically, like, just make you a like loud better, noise so like, if you like. Yeah, it. like. Yeah. Just do that. Exactly like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna list the games off that I've got in the past two weeks because I don't think I was on the last podcast either. All right, I got Devil May Cry. Woo! Love that game. <laughs> 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 I got a. Uh, I got, I got, this is a weird one. I got SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. Yeah. Max Payne. Woo! Uh, okay, that one, Lou. Lego Star Wars. What? Woo! Yeah, Matt. Lego Star Wars 2. <laughs> and yeah. Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid at all. That was fucking okay. Yeah, <laughs> no hype at all. I was just silent like, the entire time. Like, I hate those games. I got a message. Crawl despises all these games. Yeah. Oh, Kraus hung up. He's gone. Oh no, he's back. back. Oh yeah, Kraus left. Oh, my God. You said you said to make noise, but when I really, really detest the game, you didn't you didn't tell me what to do, so I just fucking left. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Which one did you leave for though? Say it again, you'll find out. A me- oh, a me- uh, Smackdown Can you just make a noise this time? In, 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 I, in, in... Oh, I got it. Yes, that's it. Smackdown vs. Raw. Yeah, I'm Steven guessing he's now <laughs> It was what? Smackdown vs. Raw. And then you nice. say, I was about to say, Wait, don't I'm say it again because it'll leave again. <laughs> I'll it's, say it. It's like I'll saying Lord Voldemort's name except backwards. The thing is, I get my I get, I get my horse handed to us every time I play that game. I don't know why, like, it's so different from, like, um, recent no, WWE Lord, games. You have to get well, used to I mean, controls. With those, those old Smackdown quiet. games, what, the one thing I loved it in is I love going onto them, and then I'll just fucking. It will like, oh, create a character. So I'll make yeah. a character, and it, and it will be the dopiest looking motherfucker in the world. <laughs> like, this thing will, when it walks on the stage, it'll have the most retarded walking animation ever. Its intro will be retarded. Everything it does, it, like, breaks the laws of fucking physics. I would like yeah. superheroes. Like, I make Hulk. It's easy. Well, I, I, make I made one of them, and because of the Captain way I'd, I'd, uh, I'd, like, fucked his animations up, when he tried to do a suplex, mm-hmm. he, he kind of went through the floor. So this person was suplexing He's themselves. He's so strong. <laughs> so He's so I'm strong. Gonna, he fucks off. Throw someone for a through bit. molecules. Oh, wow. I've got a. I've got. I've already got Max Payne on Steam, right? But I bought it anyway for the PlayStation Two because it was like it was like one quid or something. Like it was insanely cheap. Um, it's like I'm really, really disappointed. <laughs> like it, the controls are so fucking bad, dude. I can't change the sensitivity. And you, like it's it's fucking so bad to aim, and it's it, it for some reason it's the only game that like lags on my PS2 for some reason. Really? Like I've ne- I've never had a PS2 game that lagged, but for, sure my, for some reason Max Payne does. Now, what makes me laugh is the achievements that you 
I can't remember which Max Payne it is, and there's an achievement. It's classified as one of the hardest achievements in the world to get. And you've got to complete the game. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Then you've got to complete the game in the difficulty setting that you unlock, which is like, um, you can't, you're not allowed to die. If you die once, or no, you, no you're oh. tired or something like that. That's it. That's yeah, Max Payne 3, it, no. I'm sure. Yeah, you can't be seen. You can't be, you can't be detected. Or oh, something wow. stupid like that. Then I when you complete on YouTube it like that, that then you've got to do it again in that same difficulty with the same settings and shit, but this time you're timed. Oh. And it's like, fucking really? Yeah, like, how is it even I'm not possible? fucking... Oh, it's just stupid. And I'm sad there, like, people are like, oh, yeah, I can do that. And I'm like, really? Yeah. Fucking power to you, you fucking idiot. I've got that achievement. That's like stating that you've got the Gears of War... Achievement for killing how many enemies is it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, fucking, uh, don't there's know. there's a Gears of War achievement. I think it's Gears of War three, and it's called Simplicity two point oh, and you have to kill like X amount of enemies. And I'm gonna go look it up right now. Do it. Uh, Gears of War. Achievement. So whilst Carl's doing that, uh, Devil May Cry is fucking badass. I've never played that game before, but it's so, it's just such a cool game. Sorry, oh, wait, serious. So there you go, the achievement, sorry, sorry, the achievement's called Seriously 2.0. And to get this achievement, you have to kill 100,000 enemies in any mode. Damn now, it. now considering that once you complete Horde and, you know, keep getting, keep doing Horde mode alone will probably net you a few hundred. If you do um, Chapter 5.1, I think it is, that first bit, people just walk down. And apparently, it, but the thing is though, to kill 100,000 enemies, somebody worked it out, it would take, I think they said, 12 days non-stop of yeah. doing this one thing over and over. Fucking 12 days, fuck that. Do you know how many people have got this achievement? Three. Apparently, apparently 9,231 people. Yeah, I don't Jesus. think I have complete, the yeah. patience to do that. I... And I'm sat there thinking, and do you know how much the achievement's worth? How much? 200 gamer score. Uh... You did that, you wasted that much time of your life for fucking 200 gamer score. Yeah, I... I'm sure you thought like those 9,000 people. Like, send, a, send like a care package to your house. Congratulations, right. you waste your life. Congratulations, you won. You know, here you go, now you get to upgrade the Gears of War fucking... What's the one after Gears of War 3? Judgment? I don't know. I can't fucking remember. The only good one was... War, the only good thing about Gears of War 3 was it had... Uh, what, uh, Clayton. Uh, Carmine. Uh, so anyway, we've still got two more people to go through. <laughs> for the, uh... What the, what the fuck people's been doing. So well, well, yeah, this is like an hour and a half said, in. Everyone said, uh, everyone said, like, well, we're good. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm gonna go. If anyone no. doesn't have anything to say, then we can go to our first break, and then, uh, and when we come well, back, yeah. we'll be discussing that topic I mentioned. Yeah, fuck it. I'm well, okay. What topic would that be? Because <laughs> I don't remember. I do. I was just playing off the side like I didn't. It's uh, basically anim like pointless animosity. Like uh, pointlessly being mean or angry or disrespectful oh. to people in uh, games. So. Okay. I'm going to go post some uh, racial slurs in the chat real quick. Uh, I'll see you when the break right. finishes. Thank All you. Right, I need to find some like music to put on or something. Okay. This won't be in a video, but... Taking a break. How long have we been... How long has this been going now? Because... An hour. Is it... Oh, fucking hell. Yeah. No, I'm only asking because oh. I've actually... I, like, I didn't think it was going to be this long. I'm, we've got oh, fuck so it, I've got haven't we? Well, we have, yeah. I'm just saying it's like... 
Our longest podcast is longer than one Lord of the Rings film, by the way. I just wanted to point that fun fact out. How long? It was the one with you as well, Kral. It went on for like four hours. Seriously? Nearly four hours, yeah. Three hours and like 59 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Yo, if anyone freaking stuck that one out and watched that one, I, like... I think. I'm not. <laughs> weird, weird motherfucker. <laughs> Don't worry, your secret's safe with me and the other people. But no, it's want. because it's because genuinely, you know, because I didn't think I was going to be in the podcast. So yeah, I mean, I, I didn't think you were either. I didn't, I didn't know who the guest. I don't think I don't think any of us realistically thought I was going to be in the podcast because we've all yeah. thought that this this mysterious person was going to turn up. But... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't even know who it was though. Like, is Steven, are you here? Yeah, yeah, he's... Who's the, who was the person that was supposed to show up? Uh... His name was... Was it this guy? No, it wasn't. Oh, Brotacular. Brotacular, right. But yeah, so I, I will cause... I turn it around because I did make I made plans. I'm gonna like let you lot into what I've done. I've made plans, and then today when you asked me if I could come on, I asked. I was like, "Is it okay if I quit? You know, do this the quick podcast?" Because I thought we was gonna be doing, you know, like we we have been doing that quick variant. Yeah, that's what I thought we were doing, and they were like, "Yeah, that's cool." Okay. So yeah, I, I, I changed my plans for you guys in the podcast. Thank Appreciate you, Crow. Thank you for gracing us with your presence. I wasn't trying to be big edit or anything. I was. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take it that way anyway. Unlike Matt's image on. Uh, hey, on the I'm not being yeah. funny. There was no there was no uh, photo trickery or shit in that one. That's genuinely yeah, what that he looks like. Yeah, one hundred genuine what I looked like when I was born. Fat headed fat wank. Yep. He didn't just he didn't split his mum from V to A, he split his mum from nose to the back of her head. <laughs> yeah, I freaking I can burst out, out like some kind of fucking demented chest buster. Yeah, Matt, Matt didn't have any hair when he came out. That's just his mum's pubes. Split open my mom. <laughs> Welcome like back to the podcast. <laughs> I like rose out of my mother, like I was like, Ooh. It was like she just opened up like a like a coffin almost. Oh, fuck. It was like she got like little hinges on her sides now. Yeah, damn. Please. You know, there are moments where I'm like, ah, maybe, maybe Tom Hang on, do you know, do you remember is taking remember? this too far, but then Matt you, takes it even farther. Yeah, do you remember those Mad Max yeah. toys back in the day? Mad Max Mad toys? Like, like, yeah, the little pocket Max toy. Matt's only 12 years old. Well, I'm not freaking 12. What are you talking about? I just want to reinforce that. Stereotypical. Uh, no, thing. I do not know the Mad Max. Mad though. Max? Do you mean Power Rangers? Or Mighty Max? Was it Mighty Max? Yeah, Mad Max is the freaking dude. In no, the yeah, picture. yeah. Sure. Post yeah, Mighty Marvel. Max, basically. And well, the way you Mad said Max that, my mum my mum now has hinges, and I'm sat there thinking, what, like the Mighty Max toys? 
Like yeah. you just, she just opens up and there's a, there's a small little mat inside, in this like. Well, I was bigger. That's why it was. <laughs> I didn't that's have why that. I was all scrunched up. I didn't have those toys. Speaking of Mad oh, Max, yeah. so I, I watched half the Ma the new Mad Max film yesterday. It's pretty sweet. Oh, really? But yeah. Due, due, due to my, lot, lot of due to my shitty like, Wi-Fi, I couldn't finish it. <laughs> a lot oh, of people wow. were there like. It's, it's, it's so feminist. It's so feminine. It's fuck off. Yeah. What, Mad Max? Yeah, be, but the thing is, though, a lot of people, a lot of people have gone. Oh, it's it's so like anti-feminist shit, and I'm sat there thinking, yeah, and I'm sat there thinking, I don't get that vibe. I was sat there, like, look, I I watched it. I was like, hang on, but don't doesn't the woman in the film kind of like tell Max what to do? That's uh, anything. Is, not fucking. One of the main characters is one of the main characters is female, and she's fucking badass, dude. Yeah, she like tells Max what to do. Let's you know be honest. A, you know what her name is. You, you know what her name is. Mad Max. I can just tell her. I, I can just tell you her name, and then you'd be like, "Oh, yeah, she's fucking bad." Yeah. Furiosa, Fury fucking Orsa. That's her name. That's her Fury legit birth name. Orsa. Fury Orsa. So now that we're back to the podcast, and you've enjoyed that little tidbit, um, yep. now we're gonna get onto our topic of basically discussing animosity and. Um, in gaming, when it um, or, well, it's actually more so pointless animosity. So, uh, yeah. Is yeah. That Why are people assholes for no reason? <laughs> Matt would know. <laughs> I didn't intend it like that, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Matt. He left again, didn't he? Like without telling us. He fucking has. Why couldn't he do this during the break instead of like when we're actually trying to do the podcast? Yeah. Uh, We're trying to be fucking professional. He's like such an inconvenient bastard. You know. Tom, um, why what? are people a <laughs> Matt, why are people yeah. assholes for no reason? Yeah, why you are people assholes idiot. for no reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah fucking answer the question, talking? prick. Being a former Get him. well, I guess not former, but being an asshole myself <laughs> it is kinda of fun I don't know, just screwing with people. I wouldn't clash like, you as an ass I wouldn't clash you as an asshole though. I'd clash you as a toss part. But not an See, I don't even know what that means. That's why I'm going. No, no, no. I've classed it as a word that I, I don't want to see on the live stream, but that's it. Well, um, oh, oh, oh. Does, does it? Does it rhyme? It's like, does it rhyme with fun? It's the easiest way to get attention. Okay, from you can just it's give not him the stunt. same name as uh, my banana, and then he'll be fine. Just call him Burke. <laughs> but, um, I always call I, him. I Burke. mean, if he, the people who commented in our Twitch chat would have said stuff like, "Wow, nice work, guys." Good work. We wouldn't have talked about them for nearly as long as we are now. Well, uh... Well, to be quite fair, no, none of us have mentioned them. No, and then actually, it that's not true at all, Matt, because I, I started talking, and that whole conversation that we had about them started with, oh, wow, they, they one of them said we're cool guys. Yeah, but, I mean, see, we're still talking about them, though. We, if they were just like, well, to be hey, fair, we're, we've we started talking talk about, about it again, because you fucking topic. mentioned them. <laughs> It's the topic isn't them. It's uh yeah you mentioned them. It, the topic wasn't yeah, them. Yeah, the topic it is animosity topic in games. Pointless oh, animosity eight. in games. <laughs> right. I thought I thought when you're like why are people assholes you're gonna be like referring to the recent assholes. Okay, well he does have a valid point though. Like that is an example. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. yeah, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Fair play. It is a point. But again, you know, I mean, unfortunately, he had to make a rise out of people. You know, like um, like. Know, like this, it's, it's I mean, have you seen the react. latest? Have you seen the latest one in the comments? Gay queer fags, fucking well done, ninja on a stick. What a fucking original name. Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 fucking ninja on a stick. What's Tom, your girlfriend? You son of a bitch. What's you your fucking girlfriend? A samurai on a pogo. Wait, what was that laugh just before? <laughs> what was that? I gotta know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I picked Oh my up. god, we made a you made a mistake, Tom. You made a mistake. Can you please elaborate? You made a mistake. On what that was? <laughs> you made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, oh Tom, I have to ask you something. If someone uh -huh. were to look you up on Twitch, what would your name be? Uh you know, it's I'd uh I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd, uh, I'd ninja. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have anything to do with ninjas being on sticks, would it? <laughs> oh, okay. Tom? <laughs> that person you were just, like, shitting on just now was Tom. I know. I know. <laughs> okay, good. 
I didn't know that. And, I, and I'm still, and I'm still, point, I'm still, my point still stands valid. Who the fuck calls himself ninja on a stick? It's Courtney so, fucking... okay? It's Courtney so. <laughs> what's your fucking, what's your fucking girlfriend's name? Samurai on a fucking kebab. <laughs> if I had a girlfriend, she'd kill me. <laughs> what? If you had a fucking girlfriend, she'd look at your Twitch name and go, you fucking moron. <laughs> Actually, Weird. the ladies love the Twitch name crop. The ladies love the ninja. <laughs> yeah, that's why I go to. That's my go-to phrase. So, who I am serious topics. Twitch. Fucking, yeah, you're in the same chat the as internet. someone called Flanoodle, and right. you're ripping on me for ninja on a stick. Well, yeah, because yeah, because we, I've, I've already ripped on his stupid name. Have you? His name is his name is a crossbreed of fucking dinner and dessert, flan and noodle. Well, actually, it's just flat and then noodle. Yeah, yeah, right, we get that really makes it even worse. Topic, that sure makes it uninspired. Is. That means that you can't fucking spell. Nah. Anyway, no, back to the topic flat. at hand. Animosity in games. Thank you. I think it's just because people just, you know, like was mentioned, they, people like to get a rise out of people. Some people just do it just for the factor of doing it because they can't... Some people are just that shit at a game. And that yeah. fucking crap... That stupendously wang spent 40 quid on that they have to sit there and now take their belated bullshit out on someone else who's actually good at it and so they sit there going fucking faggot fucking wang <laughs> fucking queer ass yeah. bitch how dare uh, you outplay fucking, me who in the uses game? a fucking shotgun in a game like this fucking loser it's because you clearly suck at the fucking game yourself they might have Ooh. a bit and when it comes, and if anyone wants to sit there going, "Oh yeah, well, COD works on a skill-based matchmaking system," yeah, which they've <laughs> reworked four fucking times now. So I'm not being funny. That skill-based matchmaking system that you fucking live and die and breathe on is probably broken to shit and doesn't work. Yeah. So all your matchmaking out. is just random. That comment you made about shotguns. I assume that a lot of people say stuff like shotguns are ridiculous. They're like. I've they're, had other people bad or something like that. Oh, I was playing Call of Duty, uh, Black Ops Two. I've had people call me shotgun noob because for noobs, some, that's, shotguns, yeah. some shotguns, no, some shotguns can be legitimately OP. Okay. And if you know how to, but if you know how to set one up correctly, you know I'm not being funny. No matter how OP a gun is, if you're shit at the game, doesn't matter how OP the gun is, you're shit. End off. You're not gonna do good. I think that there's a way to like a workaround for everything in, in like every game. Yeah. However, this reminds me of like in Brawlhalla, the biggest thing is that people complain about the gadgets, like the bombs, the mines, and the spike balls, saying that they're they're not skill based, basically that they're RNG. Well, I'm not. I'm not being funny. The fucking remember when we played that game and I fucking took out you lot. Oh, you're trying to tell me that those shots weren't fucking skill based. Okay. So, I have this to say to the jackasses who do that. Or say that about the bombs and the gadgets and whatnot. Uh, let's see, you got this side, a regular fighting game, you just fight. You know, you just fight good, it takes a lot of skill, right, to be the best at. You got a fighting game with bombs, mines, and spikes all over the place. You have to be extra skilled to be able to fight good and be able to dodge and throw the gadgets effectively. I'm not being funny. If you're sit going to sit there and complain about that, yeah, you it, like like you just said, it's a it's a, a new skill that you have to learn. Yeah. If you can't dodge the person who's basically spamming that skill, or spamming that shit, then what does that say about you? You're not con you're not concentrating on actually doing you know what you are supposedly skilled at. You're just looking. F you're just basically letting them subconsciously letting them do that, so you have something to bitch about. You're looking for excuses, pretty much. Yeah, you're looking for an excuse. Yeah. And you're going to be left behind while everyone else gets better at the game. Yeah. So. Animosity just takes so many different forms, and that's mm -hmm. one of them. Where people just look for legitimate reasons to bitch. Like I stated, when you're not, when you're not good at a game. You know, oh yeah. But like one of mine, like I said, when people are not good at a game, and they know they're not good at it, but what do they, instead of trying to get good or just, you know, admitting defeat and saying, I'll move on to a different game. They stick around and basically talk smack and shit to everyone else. Yeah, that's just I, pathetic. That's pathetic. Yeah, a lot, this happens a lot in like um, MOBAs too, like League of Legends. My, yeah, events. my personal favorite. When someone doesn't know how to play a game, when I first started League of Legends, for when you say in that Matt, my first match I played Cogmal, and somebody I got killed, and someone automatically, without even fucking blinking, reporting you for feeding. 
I turned around and went. I turned around and went. I've never played this game before. So before you report me, could you tell me what the fuck you mean by feeding? And someone goes, "Oh, he's trying to say that you intentionally let the opponent beat you." Well, I don't even know these fuckers on the other side. He went, "Whoa, you must know who they are." I went, "How the fuck would I know?" Them? We're playing an AI match, you prick. <laughs> the, uh, Their computer. All the other of spectrum them. of this this topic that we've been on, like this version of the animosity of being bad and still talking shit, is on the other side too. When you're so good, and when someone else isn't oh. up to your level, and then you be they're good rude school. to them they're because they're man. not as good as you. It's, oh, GG, Wayne. I don't know what's worse, in all honesty. I don't know which one I, I think is worse. Personally, I hate a sore winner more than I hate a sore loser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, actually, I would agree with that. So with a sore loser, you can walk away from it. But you know what? People who can't win with grace fucking drive me insane. Yeah. yeah. Like, I like mean, you know what? Enough you feel it bad about losing, but then they got to taunt you. Like, oh, wow. G-G-E-Z. You are pretty much a terrible person, and you will never succeed in anything because I beat you in this game. <laughs> yeah, just that's basically like, it. Just do my head in, man. Fucking, they have to sit there and fucking belittle you because they beat you in a fucking game. What to fucking do? Is this game gonna what? You're gonna put this game on your CV next? Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm too pro at this game because I'm yeah. fucking. Okay, that's that's an amazing uh, skill reference you're putting out there. But why do you want this job in a warehouse? I was wondering why I didn't get any job replies. Shocker. Thank you very much. I should work here. Yeah, I'm, at the end of the day, people who lose with no dignity, that's one thing. Because like I stated, you're just you're just bitching at the fact that, you know, you're looking for reasons to delete a game. Well, you're, not you're not good at it. Yeah. yeah, you're looking for an excuse as to why you're not good. But when you're doing that, when you're winning, you that's no there. There is no. I'm gonna make a video about ask. that. Actually, I think I'm gonna make a video. Absolute toss up. Like basically telling people off who complain about gadgets. <laughs> I want to do that. Do yeah. it, man. I just I just don't understand people who sit there and bitch and whine about fucking, you know, people who are. That's no. There's another. There's another kind of person. Pers people who, regardless of being good or bad at a game. Just play to bitch about the people that are not good. Oh, just play to make people just upset. just to sit there and whine. Yeah, I don't get what people get out of that. Well, it's a release that you know that they can't get in real life because they're probably they angry about something else. Yeah, they've probably been abused by their dads. <laughs> well, that's a pretty uh, drastic yeah, real. step. But no, that is legitimate. I mean, that could be a thing. Thing that has happened. Uh, people will like if they're angry about anything, even if it's just like doing bad in school, which can be fixed by studying or trying harder. Uh, if they're just yeah, get the fuck off the game. There's something in their speak. regular yeah. life that angers them, and they can't like do anything about it, so they take their anger out on everyone else in front of a screen. Yeah. And besides, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm incredibly the, people, the people that I have the most respect for are the people that literally will block and mute someone so they can't hear the response. So they, they don't feed in these these trolls. And they turn around and go, I've blocked and muted them. Now can we continue with the game? Fucking hats off to you. Yeah. I will fucking play. I will play with that person every day of the week. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how skilled they are, how good they are at the game. I will pick that attitude over some wanker. You were going to say something, Tom. What's up? What? You are about to say something, weren't you? No, Matt was about to say something. Oh, was it Matt? Yeah. Alright, go ahead, because I have That's a story about that. recognize our beginning sentences voice. Thanks a lot, Steven. I thought I knew. You're going to get all the credit for your shitty fucking... Shut up, Matt. Just fucking say what you were going to say. Yeah, what? Well, like... <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say, too. Wait, give me a Okay, I have a story to tell, because okay, I, think, I don't remember if I was playing with you or... The other mat, one of the many other mats, uh, and Smite. I was playing a three v three, and there was this guy at one v one, and I believe I beat him or he beat me. I don't remember. But for the next like few days, he just kept like messaging me, uh, like terrible, awful insults. Like and what? I did, I did the complete opposite of what you should do, which is block them or mute them. Like you should just do that. Like I should have done that, but instead I was like re replying to him like. Oh, oh hey, that's God. funny. Oh, this, this. Like, trying to be coy, I guess, or clever. But it was uh -huh. it was just making it worse. It wasn't helping anything. Yeah. So, yeah. 
How did it experience. end? Did you just like stop messaging? I blocked him. Oh. I blocked him. And yeah. Well, yeah, but that was after you fueled him. Yeah, exactly. I realized like, wait, I, sh I shouldn't be doing this. I should just block him and move on with my life because this isn't important. Like that's the biggest thing I want to point out to people who are like this is just like, what you're doing isn't important. Yeah. It doesn't like, mean anything. I mean, it's not going to get you anywhere. No. It helps absolutely no one. It can only do harm. It will never do anything good for anyone, even yourself. It's not going to make you feel better about whatever is terrible in your life. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh. This reminded me of something. That's, else. That, that was for someone who's watching. <laughs> and he goes, I know what you look like, so I did that. <laughs> Great. You know, this kind of, um, this kind of reminded me of something I wanted to talk about. I've been right, watching we'll, we'll prank videos up. recently. Hmm. Like, people who go up, like, um, specifically hood prank videos. And it infuriates me. You like, thank about? you so much. What you, what I, you, everyone what you loves those to? videos. So much. What are you referring like, to? What, the videos know. where like, someone goes out and like slaps someone. It, well, yeah, it's... And, like, it, oh, yeah, I, like, I think, you're the, I think you're the worst like, scum in the history of someone mankind. Someone explain it to me, please, because I have okay, no idea what you're talking about. Someone would go into a like oh. neighborhood that's, uh, I don't know, like known for its violence or something, okay? And they would provoke someone who's doing nothing to them, like, in order to get a reaction from them. So, like, one of the videos I saw, like... Eat, like uh, someone had like a brand new pair of shoes or something. Mm -hmm. So what the person doing the video did, he like stepped on the shoes and like you know put some dirt on them or some shit. And obviously they get beat the fuck up as they yeah. should. <laughs> to be fair. And then and but, then uh, they'll, they'll and then I they'll do like the videos, videos they get beat stupid the like. But then they'll the thing is, title the video something stupid like prank gone wrong. The thing is, off, you how, did that intentionally. How is that a prank? I thought, yeah. like, a prank was tricking someone. You're not mm -hmm. tricking anyone doing that. Like, you're doing an action, and you're getting beat the fuck up for it. Like, that's not a prank. Yeah, yeah really. I, count I, as I one. just, at the end of the day, I'm sorry, Matt, but... Matt, your mic is a little quiet, by the way. The people okay. I hate more than that are the people that actually watch those videos and then sit there and like them. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. If You might be the nicest person in the world, but why would you feel exactly. someone to do that shit to it's... someone else? And then no, that yeah, happens, and then they end up getting like you. a million subscribers, and mm -hmm. it all goes downhill. Yeah. This there's, this one, there's this one guy in particular too who I see him like everywhere for some reason. It's this, uh, it's a, it's a big black dude. He's pretty muscular, and he gets in a wife beater and a backwards hat, and he's got this character called Tyrone, and he goes Very up original. to, and goes up to people, usually walking with like their girlfriends or something. And he looks at the camera and is like, my name's Tyrone, and I'm gonna fuck his wife. And he'll just point at the guy, and like he'll just do whatever he can to provoke them. Oh, and he, does, he doesn't break character either. And like this guy gets in so much trouble. There was this one guy who freaking pounded on him. Like he punched him in the face, knocked him on the ground, just like walloping in his face. Like... What else would you expect? That's bullshit, dude. Yeah, it's the funniest it's, thing, though. It's, it's the funniest thing. When Matt, they're we're crying, against when they're this. Like, You're not supposed like, to be supporting this kind of thing. It's like, it's just a prank. It's just a prank. Look, there's a camera. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Now, then, at the end, I'm sorry, but pe to people that do that, you are the worst scum on the history of mankind. Actually, because what I you have... think you're doing is funny, you're just... You're just what, what happens then, right, if the police come up and arrest that person that you that's probably you what they try to do. provoked. That's probably what they're trying to do. Now, yes, they're going to get in, they're gonna get in shit. Yeah, they're going to get in shit for your stupidity. Well done. Well done. Yeah, Fuck this, done. This is especially stupid guy. He walked around the ghetto going up to people. He had, a, he had two water guns behind his back and he was like, hey, you want to buy a gun? Yeah, and one of them actually pulled a gun out on him. Yeah, one of them I've pulled seen. a gun out of him and was like pulling it out of his face and he was like crying. You wanna, you wanna buy a fucking gun? Like, well yeah. done, as if you fucking do that. There's a like, video on Facebook. And they don't even care that it's a prank. This is a video on Facebook that is, I don't think it was a prank. It was a pretty serious uh, video that a lot of people liked, which is ridiculous. I don't know why you would find enjoyment out of this. It was a mother and her young child, like I want to say like a four-year-old boy. Um, yeah. walking through a park, uh, some, apparently a bad town, 
and uh, this woman just started like getting oh. in the mother's face and started yeah, dude, whooping her that. ass. And then the boy tried to stop her, and she shoved the boy out of the way. And, uh, really? No matter what the mother did, like she tried to like just get out of there, you know, not fight. Uh, she, this woman was just beating her ass, and it was ridiculous. You know what? And to, pe and to I people who like those videos, you're the second one. Kind of scum. I can't tell which I'm more pissed off about. Probably that one because the they didn't liking, have any good the reason for the it. Video. Or the person freaking taking the video. Oh, yeah. No, I think you're, oh, no the, the person the... recording it, the person doing it, you're the worst scum in the world. The person recording it is the second worst scum in the world. And the people that like that shit, you're the third worst scum in the world because you promote that crap. Yeah. So, you know what? When it happens to your fucking mum or your dad or your nan or someone close to you, or you, you, have you, have no, there. you have no legitimate right to complain about it and say, oh, well, they fucking provoked me. Yeah, but you promoted that shit. So when it comes yeah. back round and comes back to you, enjoy Logically, it. Yeah, but I'm really not putting it in rank it. and they're all as bad as he fucking chose. Like, it's just yeah, a terrible, terrible thing to do. It's awful. Yeah, no, that's like, and that's, a, that's kind of a, becoming a natural thing to you now. That whenever something people? crazy happens to someone or someone like needs help or something, it's Film everyone's it. natural instinct to pull out their freaking phone and talk Film about it on Facebook or and take like, record pictures. it. Yeah. And I'm like, help the person. Such bullshit, man. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I, I just hate it. Well, unfortunately, this is the world that we promote nowadays. So. Yeah, I I don't know. Like I, I don't know. I don't even know who. The thing that I think the world, reason why it gets such a positive reaction from some people is like it's the, oh my god, this happened. I can't believe this happened factor, but that's yeah. yeah. If you can't believe it happened, then why are you supporting it happening? Like yeah. don't like it on Facebook. Yeah, don't like share. Check out this crazy video I found. Just everyone. just to just to respond to someone in the comments, Pygar. He's actually one of the uh, one of my friends from. My uh, co oh, they're actually nice people in the chat. There's actually people watching. Oh my god! True, but the thing is, the, nice. the thing I'll is though, I'm, I'm just, I'm just second. gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna point out, nice if they're getting paid the for chat. filming that prank, that's even worse. Agreed. You're accepting money to record someone doing something that's well, promoting violence easy... or promoting bullying or something like that. It's no. Without easy, that makes it you, is that makes you even worse. YouTube... That makes you worse than that person. That how yeah. easy it is to get YouTube partner nowadays. I'm sure they could get paid. For YouTube videos, or like make put it on YouTube, or Vine even, or sell it to a news place. Put it on the Vine, man. Do it for the fucking Vine. Then do yeah. it for the fucking. The fucking Beat up for a some random place. single mother you know, in the park. For the if Vine. they put it, if they put it on the news, I think it's it's okay if they put it on the news as long as it's displayed as not as oh my god this happened or this is a, a, a terrible thing that needs to stop. Find these I people think... and arrest them. You know, That's what it should say. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like some people do it just to get on the news. Like, I feel like putting them on the news and giving them so much coverage, like like people like doing like shootings and stuff, all that stuff, they get on the news and they get popular and then they get big and that's exactly what they wanted. I'm just I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put it this way. I'm just gonna put it this way. The per like you said that that person might be getting paid to record it, but okay, if they're getting paid to record it and they might not agree with it, does, does would it make it right on the same line? Like I said earlier, you know when you know so. what you're promoting and karma coming around, would it make it? Would it still make it okay on their end when the person they're recording comes and slaps your mum? Yeah, I don't. I don't think it makes it okay at all. If, even if you're like, oh, I don't like this, but I'm recording it. It doesn't matter. Per like you're still against doing public it. pranks. I'm. I'm. See, there's a difference. There is a difference between pranking someone and just going all out to be a prick. Yeah. yeah. Like beating them. I, up at the end of the day, to me, child. a prank. A prank is walking up to someone and going, "Would you like some nuts?" And you open the can and fucking, I don't know, yeah. like a noise happens. And a, 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 a pretend yeah. rat pops out. Oh, like, have classic. you seen the, have yeah, you seen yeah, the yeah, snowman? Exactly. Have you seen the, the pretend snowman that the people and people walk past and it'll move and scare them? <laughs> They're yeah. pranks. I like that one. Not when you're, yeah, not when you're going out and fucking like, I, I fu I'm going to fuck his missus. You know, yeah. I'm going to punch yeah. this When you're intentionally big trying to get you know, people to beat you up. Or, or when you, you run past someone. So, did you, I watched one of them, and it was, you know what? This one brought me so much joy. This dude runs up and happy slaps this girl. Turns out that the fucking uh, bloke that she's with 
it just happens to be a featherweight boxer and beats the fucking shit out of him. <laughs> like, legitimately beats the crap. When this guy's finished, he's walking away, and the dude that slapped her, he, he gets up, stumbles, and just goes straight back down again. The yeah, cameraman right. walks over. This is, the, this is the best part. The cameraman walks over. You okay? No, the man just got no. wailed on. Man just got wailed on by a professional boxer. Of course he's not fucking okay. Well, that boy will never actually. be okay again. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the, this one video, I know it's gone viral by now. Like, everyone's seen the gif of it. But if you haven't, it's um, it's about a guy. He dresses up in, like, a box, yeah? And, like, he just, he just like, uh, stands on the corner and, like, he pushes into someone. And, like, well, that happened to you, pushes didn't back. It? Yeah, that happened to yeah, you. Yeah, that happened to yeah, me. Yeah, exactly, too. that happened to you. Yeah, yeah, someone that, that, that's... that. I feel like I, I, I kind of like it because it's just so ridiculous. But like, that's also kind of pushing the border of like. Um... Yeah, when it when when you're when you're physically, like interacting, with, you're asking for trouble. Just yeah. scared, like popping out and going, "Bug!" Some shit, you know, shit like that. Dressed like yeah, Jake like, boys. If you that's... jump out at someone and scare them, they're gonna be like, "Oh God, that made me real uncomfortable." Ha <laughs> ha! Nice, nice one. It's yeah, not like the... if you heckle someone and makes them so, sad. Yeah, walking around yeah, or like freaking pushing RKO them. someone on the street. Oh, well, that's just uh, taking it. People do that? I, I mean, it's probably been done before. I haven't seen any videos of it. But... Oh, well, I wouldn't be surprised. I was about to say, Matt, where the fuck? They probably hurt themselves, fuck? like, just as much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know, maybe they were like... To be games. fair, though, to be fair, you say that they, they hurt themselves as much. I fucking hope they did. Mm -hmm. I really I agree. Fucking... I freaking I agree. hope they get hurt more because they deserve it. The other person didn't do crap. But yeah, so... I mean, I, I'm, I'm for you know the funny pranks, you know the ones that, at the end of the day, don't call someone fucking stress or in some cases could put a relationship on fucking you know on real bad terms because yeah. who the fuck wants to see their boyfriend pummel the crap mm -hmm. at some fucking weedy little white wanker? Yeah. Yeah. I'm... And like, plus those like prank videos that are like, oh, guess what? He thinks I'm pregnant. Ha 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 ha. I had that happen to me actually. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, it was my first girlfriend ever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on April there, Fool's a... Day, she. This actually involves Donovan. This is funny. I have to tell this. Uh, she <laughs> told me what? that she was pregnant with my best friend's child because I knew it wasn't mine because we had never done That's it. That's not funny. And I was like. And Donovan was there at my house that day. And you all know how crazy Donovan is oh, yeah. when I told you. So he was like, I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I was like, Don't have go. fun. Oh. I'm sorry, but no, that is not funny. No, no it wasn't. Not yeah. in the fucking slightest. I mean, no, that is, is no you're asking for shit. Because well. either the person is freaking like, <clears> but, oh um, my god, you have a kid? What? 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 We no. were on the topic. Our original topic was game, uh, pointless animosity in video games, and we pretty much transitioned to pointless animosity, in, in like in like all, all the time. So I think, Tom, that's, well, I think that's one way you. What do you think in. is a good uh, or a bad, I guess, uh, reason for pointless animosity on the internet in general? What? Me? What? Yeah. Well, what was the question again? So uh, what, what is a good? What is a bad a example of? Like, why someone would have pointless animosity uh, on the internet? A bad example, like, like why they would do it? Yeah, exactly. A bad reason fucking, to do it for the fucking views, man. They see all these people doing pretty much the same thing, like uh, going out in public, and it's I see these I see these pranks in the same way that I saw the Sam Pepper vid videos last year, where it was like going up to random girls and fucking grabbing their asses, and it's just like. That's not a prank, dude. Like that's literally sexual abuse yeah. to someone who you don't even know. Causing someone physical and emotional discomfort. Exactly. It's uh, not like, haha, you touched my ass. It's he touched. That's me. the thing. Will People try see to touch me later. You, you touched me without yeah. consent. And People like, see videos like that and then they go on to mimic it because that's what they think entertainment is. Uh, but yeah. when actually it's just some fucking dude being an utter twat to just people who he doesn't even know. Like it's, it's so stupid. Yeah, and plus, like, an another type of video I hate, like, of people, like, those kinds of people who think, like, they can, like, uh, with, like, women, like, there's, like, these simple tricks that you can, like, get inside the heads of women and, like, screw with them so they, like, they like yeah. you. Three and words like, to make a woman you have, have sex with you. have to do that, you're pretty insane and unlikable. No, to do, to, I'm sorry, Three to do something like that, you are, you are, you are three different things. To do, to even try something like that, you're desperate. 
Yeah. You're you fucking twisted in the head. There. You're twisted in the head, and you seriously need to seek medical attention. Or, yeah, you know, like, from a psychiatrist, you are fucking... Something's severely wrong with you. Yeah, like... Greed. I, I know it's hard to, like... What is it? Think of, like, the perfect thing to say to girls and stuff. But well, it's not even that. On, if like, you're going onto the internet to look up ways to freaking mentally them. manipulate them yeah. into liking you, I'm like, okay, this is getting into freaking cult leader Mad scientist territory kind of here. And Matt, Matt's only pissed about this because he's seen these things and tried them and they don't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> None of them work. But the, the obvious this is bullshit. Reason, the obvious reason <laughs> for people me. having pointless animosity on the internet has been discussed many a times. Um, and there was even a game made about it. I don't know how good it was, but it looked pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Is the fact that they're talking to a monitor or typing to a monitor or typing to a picture instead of saying it to their face. Uh -huh. So. Also, again, I'm going to go back to it's the culture that we're now... Um, in many cases, promoting. Yeah, people see it. Easily... Like when when you get these YouTubers that sit there and play like I don't know whatever game, and they sit there and they abuse people across on the other side. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, I pranked a twelve year old in Minecraft. Fucking good for you. Well done. Fuck done. That was really a good day spent, wasn't it? You made fucking that guy. kid not enjoy a game that he originally I, yeah, enjoyed I, very yeah. much. No, I this... really fucked his views on a game. I feel so fucking. Now he's probably not yeah. going to trust people on Minecraft. There's, there's a video of a guy. Okay, so like, I'm, I'm pretty sure it might be like Minecraft Xbox or something. And he was like, yo, so I got this kid to let me into his world and show me around the place. And I'm going to blow it all up. I think I've seen that one. Don't do that. No, don't like, do I, that. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expand on what I've just said because a lot of people will be like, oh, so you're completely against pranking on Minecraft and shit. No. When it's two friends and they're like, you know, they're recalled in for the sake of recording, like, Mumbo Jumbo, uh, Doc MC, fuck me, uh, M Monkey Farm. YouTubers. <laughs> you know, G Generic B, you know, go through all the big, pulls on pulls, all them, but when they're pranking each other, you know, that's just harmless fun because at the end of the day, you know for a fact, Thingy, pulls on pulls, who, so let's just say, argument sake, Mumbo pranked, um, Corrales. You know for a fact Mumbo is going to wait for Corrales to respond and he's going to go and help him clean it up. Or he's going to expect to be pranked back. You know it's going to happen. He knows the, it's going to happen. And he's not going to get pissy over it. I think the biggest yeah. thing when you're about just, it is that they're that's friends. That's fine. Yeah, like, they're, they're there's friends. There's a common I guess, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Like they know each other well enough and it won't affect their friendship. But if you just do it to someone you've never met or never talked to until then, that you're pranking them, it's a different story. Yeah, like yeah. you don't have that relationship with them. Yeah, in one case, it in one case, it's two friends just you know having a laugh. At, at, yeah, fair enough. At each other's expense, granted, but they're friends. They're having a laugh, and they both consent to it. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm not being funny. When you go into some servers, one of the questions that you do get asked is, you know, are you okay with being pranked? Would you be bothered by that? And a lot of people turn around and go. No, I'm fine with that. Yeah. And, you know, you, you, you develop a bond and a trust with these people. You, you know, so you know they're not going to fucking go too far with it. And, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, I think it, who was it? It was Zasuma Void pranked Corrales, but he did it in such a way, Corrales actually liked the prank and set it up. He actually got Seth Bling, I think it was, or he, would, he left it that way. And it became his doorbell for that his was. house. Yeah, and it was it played one of his favorite songs, basically. You said that people are gonna like make a comment like as if you don't like pranking at all, and the thing is, no, yeah. is that no one. I think that a lot of people, it's ridiculous to think that it's either this way or this way, and there's nothing in between. Like there's nothing yeah. like going too far. Uh, yeah. Like going there's nothing like you can take. I think at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day, going too far is in. The eye of the beholder. One person might say, "Oh no, he didn't. That, that that was fine. It was just a bit of harmless fun." Someone else might look at it and go, "No, he definitely went too far. That was bullshit." That's the thing. It's it ultimately, I feel like it's more up to the person who's pranked, like who what's too far, I guess. Yeah. Whoever's being affected by it. Is... Yeah. I mean, if they if they're okay with it, then they're fine with it. But 
if they're yeah, not fine. People yeah. are okay with different things. Yeah, I mean, I remember when I was playing, when I used to do a lot of servers, and I was on a server with my friends, and one of the pranks that we did to one of them was we got, it was a modded Minecraft server, we got a, an, uh, one of the items, it was called a, a log rotator, and what you can do, you can click on the trees and turn the logs. Uh-huh. And, you know, so we went around all of his his tree farms and rotated all the logs. They were all mumbled, jumbled up. You know, that's funny because it was a tree yeah. farm. Mm -hmm. And he found it funny sense. as well. He came on and was like, there you go. Did, the server, did the server screw up or is <laughs> it tree how farm? It really too. weird. <laughs> but, and also, <laughs> to clarify, if he would have been like, if he would have reacted like, what the fuck? Why would you do this? I don't even know how to turn this back. Would you have turned it back? Oh right. yeah, definitely. I would have. Exactly. I would have gone. I would have go. gone back. And been like, "Yo, dude, I'll, you know, I'll fix it for you. Don't worry." Yeah. You know, it was just. I'll just and I'll turn and sell him. As I like, look, I've just, I only meant it as a prank. I didn't yeah. realize you. You know, I didn't think it was going to affect you this this badly. I do sure apologize. I'll do it again. You would have been like, you know what? It's uh, it's alright. You turned it back. It's okay. It's all good in the hood. You then know, you would have gone about your business. Yeah, I know. That's another thing uh. too. Like, I guess, I guess going from like I guess the opposite side. I, I really hate, I really hate when like people are like, too sensitive to things that don't matter. Ooh, well, like, it depends like, on what like, you're talking I mean, about. I mean, here, get, let me, let me give you an example, right? Okay, please do. All right, so, all right, here here's what happened to me a while back. I was at like a uh, three day land party at one of my friend's house. It was this big thing. I think we I all brought that, actually. Yeah, I remember oh, talking you, about that. Oh yeah, I, I think I talked about that. And I, like um, and we all played Minecraft because that was the that was the shit for us. We were like, yeah, Minecraft, woo. Mm. Um, I was playing. You sound like you sound like very enthusiastic kids. I'm just gonna play mm. that. Yeah, woo, Minecraft, woo, Minecraft. yeah, so funky, fresh, <laughs> so <laughs> radical, so totally tubular. Wow, fucking stop, Matt. <laughs> just continue with your story before I slap you. <laughs> Um, so, there was this one kid in particular who took everything way too seriously. Like, okay, so, um, what happened was he, he was, like, organizing, like, a bunch of, like, chests and stuff. Mm. And, like, uh, and he put, like, I don't know, like, coal in one chest, logs in one chest. And, um, like, and that, that's pretty much it. Like, he just organized a bunch of his blocks and i thought it'd be kind of funny if i i don't know like um like i, I guess i like switched switched the uh the containers like he had labeled them and stuff so i put like the coal in the blog chest and the logs mm -hmm. in the coal chest and i'm like oh the harmless prank he got so freaking pissed he screamed now, the question at me and left the land yeah go ahead Carl. the question i'm gonna ask though matt is did yeah. you in the end, did you go and help him put it all back again? Well, yeah, but not after I was, like, done getting out of shock of him actually screaming at me. Like, I'm not even kidding. He screamed at me. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, but I'm, the, the, thing I'm, the point I'm trying to make is, did you, like, in the end, turn around and be like, uh, you know what, I'm sorry, I'll help you fix it. Cause uh, of course I, of that, course I that fixed bring, it, but yeah, I wasn't... That I brings me on to the... There's a, there is one other kind of person that I truly do not like the prank, the pr on the prank side of things. People who sit there and go, fuck, man, it's just a prank. Calm the fuck down. You know? Yeah, but I... It's just, it was just, it when, was just a prank. When something Jesus. so small like that... I will say this. And react so badly... Matt, Matt. Yeah. You were not in the wrong because you apologized and you fixed it. But yeah. he was not in the wrong in his reaction. I mean, that's a complete overreaction, though. I don't think so. I don't think... So. I, I so well, you got you got to like, understand it, it, it though, Matt. But the one thing you to switch them back. Well, yeah, but the one thing you got to understand though is everyone is entitled to the way everyone is entitled to how they feel. Yeah, and at the end of the day, you know, he may not have, un unlike the others, he may not have appreciated that fact. You know, something that he's done to spend a lot of time doing. I mean, at the but end of the, one, one, one of the things, well. like. It didn't take any time to do, though. Well, like, so, I, I'm I not really, being funny. I'm not being funny. You're talking to a person who has organized some severely large storages. I know how long they do actually take to organize. Yeah, yeah, I know. They, they like, do take time. Yeah, I know they do take time. 
But I'm talking like which is like why I, I have switched like, organizers. like four different. I only switched four different things, and they were all in like I put all the coal in like one wrong chest, and all the logs in one wrong chest, and I it was just so like they were labeled differently. I think ultimately, if you don't like that kind of reaction, then you shouldn't like associate yourself with people who react like that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I've stopped talking to them in general, but like. People who just, like, harshly overreact to things. Like, I can get if you get, like, frustrated by things. But people who can't, like, take anything at all. I, I feel like those are, some like, those are, like, really annoying people. And plus, like, I, again, I guess just don't I guess associate like, yourself with people like that. Is the yeah, I know. But I, can't, I, can't believe, I can't believe you wouldn't understand how another person feels, Matt. Oh, fuck you. No. No, but, like. Uh, it's also, too, because, like, he kind of led me on to believe that he would be. <laughs>